Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. I'm welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everyone, hello. What is up FMB? Hello JM. Bye, Cobb. Asperooch, hello, hello. One second, let me just pause this. Hello! It has been quite some time, yes. About, I think we're close to two months since I've done an Invasion stream. Hello everyone, hello. I am, I am. My vacation turned out to be quite a lot longer than I thought. Started out thinking it'd be three weeks, but then my girlfriend came to visit me as well. So I've been away from for streams for a prolonged period of time, but at least we had the videos. But hello, hello. What's up, Lance? Hello. Obi, hello. But yeah, we're going to be doing some invasions today. Uh, I've been doing all those videos for you guys for the showcases at 125, and it does take a little bit of time for me to find the invasions for the videos. So I thought I'd start out at 80 to see if it's more popular. Uh, I don't really know what levels are the most invadable at the moment. So we're doing the level 80 strength build for today. What's up, Grand Cheese? Thank you, man. What is up? I'm good. Hope you guys have all been good. I did. I had a great time, yeah. Spent a lot of time outside. Traveled through, like, Utah, Colorado. Road tripped. Yeah. But yeah, let's just try some invasions. I don't know where I would get invasions at 80, but I'm going to try some of the places that I often did before I went on the trip. So we're going to start out the Avenue Balcony, I guess. Yeah, 150, like, I've tried 125, 150, and 80. Those are, like, the three levels that I, uh, mostly got invasions at beforehand, so hoping we get some today at 80. Nice, yo, easy start, thanks, and happy birthday, turn 21 today, awesome, man. Happy birthday, happy 21st birthday, it's a pretty big one. Um, I, I, th I think I've heard of it, but I don't want to really want to use it, <laughs> not yet, anyway. Uh, yo, Rope, thank you. Yeah, the videos have been great. What about you guys? Where do you invade? What levels do you invade? What areas do you invade? Really? <laughs> I, I talked to like a few other like uh, streamers as well. Lost and a few others that do invasions. They do like 90, 125 still. Uh, so I guess some invasions. I don't know how often I should move around either. Level 200 plus. Yeah, I heard 200, but you're kind of limited to just Limgrave, right? Um, yeah, I only did a lot of the duels at 125 for the videos, so... I did get invasions, don't get me wrong, but they were just a little bit slower, so I figured 90, 80 might get me more invasions. I invade Kaled at 75. Yeah, I was thinking that. I don't even have like a character that low, actually. I think I'd have to run another one through the game at 70 to get the Kaled area. We could try Kaled, though. Try Deep Root. Yeah, I try Seafra and Deep Root quite often. We'll jump between the areas. What have you guys been up to? Anything interesting? Nice! Yeah, I'm sure I've run into some viewers, at least in the Dueling Academy area. There have been some that have told me they commented on the videos, so that's been pretty cool. Yeah, I know the lower level you go, it's going to be like plenty of people. Uh, maybe I will make like a level 50 eventually. Oh, there we go. We got one. We could try that out. I'd have to run through the game again, though. Oh. But we, yeah, we tend to get invasions at 80 in Noxtella, I find. Well, at least I did beforehand, so. Yeah. Let's see how active this area is. You've been, yeah, I've heard about that as well, Lance. I don't know how that plays a role on, like, uh, how many people you find invading or not. It's interesting to see. Uh, next stream we'll do, like, a one... I'll try, like, 137 again as well, yeah. See how popular that is. Hello there, Moon Grum. <gasps> A cosplay as my first fight. Hang on. Does he have someone hidden in here? I don't really trust you, Carrion Knight. I don't. L1. Oh, sorry. I thought you were I thought you were spacing me. You can heal. Heal up. There you go. Alright, get our heals going. Moongrum. I wonder if he has anything <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh, I don't have the poise to thank the straight sword. Ooh. Maybe it's our connection. Okay, well, that might be bad. Oh, so, you know, see the damage at 80? It's kind of normal compared to 125. I'm so used to doing those weapon showcases where everyone just dies in, like, one hit. <laughs> I kind of like this a little bit more. Moongrum, come back. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Surprise, Lance. Oh, surprise, Perry. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well... What an actual god, our first invasion. We, we die. 
<laughs> did not expect that at all. <laughs> no way. Well, that welcomes me back into the invasions. That's beautiful. Pikachu face? That's how I felt. <laughs> I didn't even know he had parry on the shield. That's actually hilarious. Well, that was my bad for going for the lance. <laughs> Yo, he did the cosplay correctly. You're right, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he actually got the parry. That was our death for today, indeed. And it was the first one. Hey, we got Moongrum again. Nice. We can get that honest revenge. Yeah, it's different. So, like, AD you'll do, like, far less damage, which I kind of find makes the fights a little bit more interesting. You know, like, on 125, they die from one crit entirely. Which is... I don't know. I, I, they need to tone the damage down. I think that would be the best for the game. Yeah, I just wasn't here for the streams, actually. I did record a ton of videos ahead of time, which is why you had so many of the weapon showcases. All right there, Moongrum. Revenge! <laughs> yeah, we won't get parried this time. I honestly didn't think he was going to parry. All right, Moongrum, show me what you got. Parry this. Hey, the beautiful R2. Actually, we fought him with that setup last time. Maybe we'll try this. What do I have on this? I actually don't even know what I have on all my Ashes for. This is like a really old build. Flaming Strike! Okay, so I have that on this. That's different. Um, this is kind of a parryable weapon, though, to be honest. Let's go with... I don't know what I've used the most in the past. We have Giant Hunt on this, which could be interesting. That was... <laughs> Yo, Shreyas, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Oh, my turn. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, very fun fight, Moongrum. <laughs> we just, you know, went for the unparryable attacks that time. Just, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> ah, yo, Shreyas, thank you so much, man. I like that man, though. That's a cool dude. Um, okay. Well, that's, it, it's weird. So, either he's taunt or tongued or, like, I don't know. Trying to figure out areas that would have more co-op as well. Yo, what's up, Brain? How have you been, man? Welcome. Indicted. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 days. Oh, instant invasion here. Okay, okay. I like it. Let's try the dual halberd setup. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So I guess we get more invasions this way. Kind of, Kind of awesome, actually. Deep root depths. This is frostbite. Must get used to my menu again. Okay, there we go. Oh no. <laughs> Not this gargoyle. <laughs> I don't trust this gargoyle. In one of my showcases, he blew me off the cliff. Uh, yeah, it's actually. <laughs> when I was doing the weapon showcases and recording them, I have to admit, there were times where I was just like, man, if I could just swap to like something with a good running attack. Yeah, it, it is nice that I can, you know, use what weapons are beneficial. Um, okay, this area has always been confusing too. The compass, ah, it doesn't tell me if they're up or down. I'm gonna go down though. Was it yesterday's? Oh yeah, it was yesterday's showcase. Yes, that one. Ah, uh, well, I just I road tripped through a lot of, well, not a lot of America, but like four states. My girlfriend and I just drove through like Colorado, Utah, uh, part of New Mexico, and. uh I forget the other state. I always forget the other state. <laughs> Mostly in Utah, though. Spent, like, most of our time there. Ah, uh, I haven't noticed... Well, in the showcases, I honestly don't get a lot of, like, bad connections, if I'm being honest. There are some. Like, there's some latency sometimes, but not really, like, too bad that it's terrible. Uh, it doesn't seem too bad to me at the moment. Oh, I don't really need to set up any builds prior to streams, Tom, because, like, so what I do is... Oh, frame loss. Uh, whenever I have a build made from a playthrough, like that I did a long time ago when the game first came out, uh, I backed up my save, so that character has all the weapons that I upgraded at first, uh, and then I have all the extra stones that are still on it to upgrade the weapons that I need, and if I ever run out, then I just I revert my save, and then I upgrade different weapons. You know what I mean? So I just have, like, a backup uh, of my character before I've wasted a lot of the larval tiers. I see that question all the time. 
Sorry that I don't always answer it on the video. <laughs> uh, I, I would just be typing it quite a lot if I did. But yeah, you just make a backup save of your character. And then revert it when you run out of your larval tiers. What about the terrifying? Sometimes we do get packet loss. Yeah, that is true. Packet loss can happen. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I finally found him and then he was like, nah. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Uh, Jake, I, I don't, is it safe though? I've heard about that. I mean, that would be useful for people. Just kind of like how the Honest Merchant was a thing in Dark Souls 3. But, yeah. I just, I've never used it, so I don't know. The best Dex Ash of Wars? Oh, you mean like the Lightning Infused ones? Or do you mean like just ones for Dexterity builds in general? I'd say it's more like the weapon, not per se the build. The Ash of Wars just benefit certain weapon types. Can you backup saves on console? You can, yeah. You just, uh, I think you have, do you have to use the cloud? I think you have to use the cloud on the PS5. So what you do is you upload your save data to the PS5 cloud. And then whenever you want to revert your game back to that point, you download it. I know people used to use the USBs and stuff for uh, PlayStation 4, but I, I hear everyone just uses the cloud. So. Best, I don't know, I actually have never really, I think I've only invaded level 60 one time, and I invaded uh, Liernia. That was like the level 60 area. <laughs> Damn, Jake, yeah, you're set. Uh, I just play on PC. I have a PS5, but for like streaming, recording and stuff, it's a lot easier for me to use my PC. The setup is better, I like the recording software on my PC better than the Elgato stuff. <laughs> Black Blade, yeah, I'm still going to be doing the weapon showcases, by the way. Uh, there's just gonna be streams here and there until uh, my girlfriend heads home. I'm, uh, I'm not really back on my like stream schedule yet, but I will be in like about two and a bit weeks. Uh, well, because when you're queuing up for an invasion, you have two different fingers, right? So it's just easier. Well, it's just a habit I have from Dark Souls 3 where using the red eye orb actually did put you uh higher up on the queue to find an invasion i don't know if that still works in Elden ring but it's it's just something I, i've always done i'm so used to it at this point Ah, uh, yeah that makes sense okay nice we got an invasion in the Alt altus plateau i don't know why i always call it atlas I'm so used to saying that. Hello, sir. Hello. Do you have teammates? Hello? Uh, I don't even know if he knows I'm here. I think he does. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey. Misericorde showcase. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do daggers eventually. I'm with you on that. Um, Okay, let's do this. He's got the same glaive as me. Hmm. I don't know if that was worth the trade. It was decent. Throwing knife. I swap these around. Ice spears a little bit. Ah, uh, wait. I don't know. <laughs> we both have a Knight Rider glaive, which is kind of cute. Oh, frostbite. Did I get the frostbite build up there? I'm not sure. I did frostbite him, but. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of a phantom range hit, to be honest. Oh, enough poise to tank that. That's cool. Very fun fight, man. Very fun, dude. Chop. Dual halberds is actually pretty fun. I only really started using this because of the showcase, though. So I have, I have viewers to thank. Thank you, David, by the way, man. I really do appreciate that. But yeah, I started liking the dual halberds. They're pretty good. Um, Maybe we'll try out something. I don't know. I like the dual greatswords as well. I've been enjoying that from the showcases. Uh, Castle Soul is more of like a level 125 area. That's why I wanted to try 80. But I think next stream I might do 125. We'll see. We'll see how busy 80 is overall. Hey, what's up, Maxis? How goes your day, man? <laughs> yeah strength build that's the first build back you know it has like a lot of variety of ashes of war and weapons i feel like strength is just pretty fun 
Oh, Andrew, thank you, man. Uh, you can get caught Sass Castle Soul at 90. Oh, really? Hmm. Maybe I'll make a 90. I asked, like, a few people, and they said, yeah, the lower level, you'll get more invasions. There'll be less, like, downtime, so. Uh, not since I was back, Rocker. That was the invasion levels that I used quite a lot beforehand. Yeah, Prayer Room at 125 works well. Do I prefer 125 or 137? I mean, they feel pretty much the same, to be honest. Um, yeah, I feel like 137 might give me a few more weight load levels, so I have to maybe not always use the... What is this ring called? I want to call it Havel's Great Jar Arsenal, but... Yeah. Oh, well, this is just a viewer. Man, I need, I need groups, man. I love you guys, but there's been too many duels. I don't think I've fought in one team yet. That's obviously a viewer, though, because they've kind of followed me here after I just fought them. No hate, don't mind fighting you, but really I'm looking for invasions. <laughs> uh, let's try here. I am, yeah, the famous. I am, dude, thank you. I don't know if this is a level 80 area. Yeah, I don't hold anything against stream snipers. I don't mind the duels, but like one's fine. You don't need to follow me to do it again, right? <laughs> We just, that was the guy we just fought with the halberd. Um, they were right though. It is, it definitely is slower overall. Uh, where else can we try? I do want to get one here. I feel like I always get teams here. Yeah, King, we do. I feel like that would help the invasions a lot. Uh, Wex Dust, like Dark Souls 3 has. So it would be so beneficial. Just because the, the game itself is so big, you know? Try the manor. Yeah, I'll try the manor as well. Yeah, I don't know if the LB actually works, though. It's it's more like people online in general. But I don't know if it actually like is dedicated to your level currently for matchmaking. Um, Because usually, no matter where I am, like, see right here how I'm in one? Shows that I, I'm in one of the co-op circles. Yo, Ob, secret Kalid dagger showcase. Secret Kalid dagger. I actually, I don't know all the weapons by heart yet. I don't know what the secret Kalid dagger is, to be honest. Oh, do you, Munch? Hmm. I mean, yeah, I could, I could look at my safe house to see if I have like a level 125. After it, this becomes too dead. I thought, I honestly thought this would be. Uh, more active than the levels I use for the showcases. Let's try the manor. Oh, 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 it's called, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what dagger you're talking about then, yeah. I didn't know it was called the secret. <laughs> I, I didn't know that wasn't its name. I see what you're talking about. Uh, one weapon for PVP forever, what would it be? Damn, I don't know. I mean, per game it might change. Because great swords and Elden Ring aren't like by any means the best. I do use them a lot still though, so I guess great swords are like they're they're always gonna be fun to me. Um, spears are good. What is this? Spears are good in this game. I would say claymore overall throughout this whole series, but in Elden Ring, it's probably not my favorite. It's tough. Yeah, maybe claymore. Like I've used it the most. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. <laughs> Down here. Love the streams. Uh, you had to pick one weapon to PvP forever with Thank one you so much, Drew. Probably Claymore. It's, it's, it's fun. It's just an overall fun weapon. Looks good. Um, I'm going to go this way, I guess. Yeah, the Celebrant's Cleaver... Or, yeah, I can't English. The Celebrant's Cleaver was actually really good. The R2 did better than I thought in the showcase, to be honest. Uh, oh. Yeah, parkour. In Elden Ring, this Vihand is pretty good overall. It's got some fun mix-ups with the different Ashes of War. Lava? Jump. Yeah, I still haven't used the favoriting option on the side of Graces. <laughs> I definitely... Oh, what is this? Oh my god, it's a cosplay. Is it Millicent? No, it's not Millicent. It's, uh... What? Cestus. With a roar. Okay, so we got some punches going down here, I guess. I found that weird. You know, I have fought the Cestus a few times now at this point, And I find it so strange. The way the punches work. 
Like the jumping heavy punch looks so strange. It's like a... <laughs> I don't know. I'm like trying to like look at the moveset here since he's actually showcasing it a little bit. And I've never really fought the Cestus too much, so... It's different. Um... Try the R2. I won! Wow, a roll catch with a Claymore. That brings me back. <laughs> what else is kind of interesting? What do I even have here? Ah, Well, you guys didn't lie about the connection not being best still. <laughs> Shit. Unfortunate. <laughs> we got an instant invasion to go back into, I guess. <laughs> Bruh. That's unfortunate. That wasn't even. Was that two minutes till I invaded? I guess that happens in invasions too, huh? Oh, he's. I'm back! I'm back! I'm back, Rodak! I'm back! Alright, we gotta fight quick. We got two minutes until it, it disappears, so, uh, what do we wanna do here? Let's try this. I don't use this halberd too often. I heard Ice Spear also got nerfed. I don't know what that was about. Like, what changed? It, it doesn't, um, what? It doesn't call or break shields anymore, I'm told. Oh god, oh no. Oh no. Well, that, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> oh shit. Ice Spear, yeah, you can, you can block it now, I'm told. Uh, it won't go through shields anymore, yeah. I haven't actually tried it out. Like, uh, does it do less stamina damage? Maybe. Yo, Necro, or, uh, Necro. Necro Banana. I thought you said Nico. Uh, well, I get invasions. I wouldn't call this fast right now, though. This is more like medium speed. Oh, no. That thing's a beast. Can we talk about how strong these are? For no reason. <laughs> these things are stupid. Uh, that's funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. It is unfortunate, Erodak. It was uh, it was a setback up. It was the bubble tear popped on him, I think. Good thing, though. That would have been a sad, a sad end, honestly. Our fight was good, and then... We got disconnected because of the two minute disconnect. <laughs> Unfortunate. That was a distraction. <laughs> yeah, this kind of feels like we run in, we both jump into battle. I kind of missed out there though. <laughs> oh, no FP. What does that actually do for you though? Is it changing the moveset a little bit? I haven't really used Warcry at all. Oh. I didn't know he was trying to drink his flask. That was kind of like in the middle of my fire. Uh, I don't really play on console, no. I have it on PS5, but I don't really play it on PS5. Oh, that was a cool roll catch. I like the crutch attack. It's pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh okay, well. <laughs> Fun fight, Erodak. Yeah, it changes the, the R2, right? Like the on whatever weapon it's attached to. Magic invasions? Yeah, I think the, the level 125 build that I had in the save file was um, the Int Swordsman that I had. <laughs> it's pretty powerful, but it is it is 125, so depending on how uh, active. Although I think, I'm, I'm going to be honest though, I think I've only fought viewers so far. So, yeah. Because <laughs> I actually know, I remember a Rodak. I always have 66 crab. Yeah, that's where the save is backed up at when I had 66 crab. Greetings, greetings, man. Uh, what about Moongrum? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember that name. Maybe that's not a viewer. <laughs> You're right. But it's always like lone ones. I was really hoping to fight like a ton of groups. Is it, yeah, PS5 has different activity, I'm told, which is unfortunate. 
because uh, I have nothing on PS5. <laughs> Can you use dual greatswords? Yeah, of course, Allie. I, I've been loving those, actually. That was like the first thing I used, really. Hey, thank you, something clever. Uh, I use a lot of swords. I'm not sure which sword you're talking about. Lucina! This is a cosplay, I think. Is the Flamberge good in invasions? Yeah, great swords in general can be pretty good. Um, especially the dual wielded, oddly enough. I, I kind of was like sleeping on the dual great swords early on when the game came out. I didn't use it very often, but they've been pretty fun. Yo, something clever. Thank you so much for the membership. Oh, yeah, this area has a lot of frame loss. Hey. It is a cosplay, a Lucina cosplay. Hello. Hey. What would Lucina use? Just a sword, right? But what kind of sword? A katana, I guess? Or is that a straight sword? Or is that a rapier? Hard to say. I think that one's a rapier. In particular. It is. <laughs> that still does some pretty good damage, the Raptors of the Mist. There we go. Uh, it won't work to one handed, huh? Okay. Kya! Follow up. Okay, there we did a little bit of the great sorting for you guys. What does this have? Chase, oh my god, I want to see if someone uses this. Ah, unfortunate. <laughs> that would have been a cool Ash of War. Yo, Necro! Or Necro, Jesus. I can't English. Uh, Necro. I keep thinking it says Nico. Thank you so much for the notation, man. Chase, I, I use your showcase videos to better my fighting too. They really help a lot, especially with understanding spacing. Thank you, man. Honestly, yeah, like, the more time you spend in the game, I think the better you're going to get at the spacing. And anything regarding timing in, in Elden Ring, anyway. Thank you. I'm rusty on reading while playing. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Ow! Roll catch with this? Okay, well, he's prepared for the Horaloo now, so... Oh! Man! <laughs> Is that really that common in invasions? I think I don't see it when I do the showcase as much. That's weird. <laughs> Is there really? I don't get that. I don't have that happen to me too often. Maybe it has to do with taunt or tongue. Like, because when I, when I invade like groups, I don't get disconnected too much. Happens a lot, really. How, I don't know how that hasn't been my experience when at least recording the showcases. So strange. Possibly? Yeah, maybe it happens more to people that are tauntered tongued, maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Oh, there we go. A nice little group. Hello there. Wow. That's not a welcome I'd enjoy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is what I want. Okay, what do we want to use then? What's a fun weapon? I really have been liking the Raptors of the Mist. It actually is so fun. Like, I didn't think I'd like that Ash of War originally, but I've been enjoying it quite a lot. All right, I can't go into your glowing mist, your mystical aura back there. Oh no. Here comes the chase down. Um, maybe, what does he have? Commander standard. Okay, we can get a little bit of range here. Berserk sword. <laughs> I was actually trying to use the great sword, but it's a little heavy for this build, considering the fact that I wanted to try and use like a wide variety of weapons. It didn't work out too well. Oh boy, I forgot about that. <laughs> I haven't seen that too much lately anyway. Yeah, I've actually, yeah, at first I didn't find any success with Raptors of the Mist, but later on in the showcases, oh god. I was right off my camera view. You know, let's get our buff going here. What's been your favorite weapon to use in the showcase? Man, that's actually tough. I've liked quite a lot. Um, Some have been more effective than others, obviously, but... Hmm. Okay, you might use Flaming Strike. Healing on a faith build is pretty cool. I haven't really used a lot of faith builds though. 
That's been like the one that I haven't used too often. Storm Stomp. Oh, he's Storm Stomp Claymoring. Lightning. Oh god, that's not the lightning that I thought it was. I thought he was going to use the other one. Like the one that comes above. <laughs> like, wait. Do I not have a lightning? Oh, I don't have the lightning attune. I'm going to put that on one of my weapons. It's very useful in certain situations. Uh, I was hoping he'd run into that and be a little bit aggressive, but he wasn't. What do I have on this? Sword Dance. It does a lot of damage, honestly. Sword Dance on this weapon. The host is kind of almost dead. <laughs> that was kind of manually good aimed. I don't know what its range is, though. Oh, he's got heals back there. The damage difference is actually so funny between, like, meta and this. I have to say. It's definitely... This feels kind of like normal damage in, in, like, DS3. Compared to, like... When I do the showcase invasions. Hmm. Any Moon Veilers. <laughs> you know what? It's rough, because Moon Veil is such a cool weapon. <laughs> but it's just so powerful, you know? Like... Ah, it, it chunks. So ridiculously. Compared to like a lot of other weapons. Oh, that was kind of like a lag skip. Yeah, Beastman Cleaver is actually pretty good. It's not half bad. I'm surprised he attacked the air. Like, that would not have hit me. I'm surprised he even went for that, to be honest. go for that what 2.3 K damage I'm trying to think of like a weapon that would be the best I could put on this I could try I have a lot of heals so try the Raptors of the mist trade I guess yeah there's a lot of weapons that are kind of useless like yeah I I, <laughs> I see lost try to use various bouquet <laughs> it didn't go so well attack me I want you to attack me You're literally in a corner. There we go. Attack me again. One more time. No? I want him to feel safe. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted. <laughs> Gotta get him aggressive. Um, okay, let's use the halberd now. Where'd the house go? Yeah, the damage is actually so low at level 80. Wow. <laughs> I feel like it actually kind of is easier to invade at 125. Like, the damage output you do. Um, hi, dumb, <laughs> possibly. This man is the master of hide and go seek. I honestly, I was wondering where he was at the end of that fight. He's this way. What the? <laughs> How is he this way? I don't know what the host is doing. <laughs> Let me know if you see him though, because I don't see him. He might be summoning, but like, it says he's below me. He's the tree? Wait. Wait. I forgot that you can transform into things. That tree? <laughs> He's doing that jutsu. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he might have used the mimic veil. You're right, you're right. Um But I don't think you can transform it. Okay, so he's around here, this direction. Okay. Can you be that tree? This is something you can transform into? No. No way. <laughs> Blindly attacking trees. Oh you coward! <laughs> He turned into a mushroom. <laughs> wow, that was a good hiding spot. <laughs> I just, I only got him because I decided to attack every tree in the vicinity. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was good. That was a funny one. We'll get that one. Um, guys, try over here.
<laughs> Elden Seek. That's a good one. They, dude, like, are they updated that? I didn't even know they updated that. <laughs> so what, you get more objects to hide with with it now? I suppose. That's so funny. I mean, it was already pretty good because Elden Ring's like an open world game, right? Um, yeah, they added more skins to it. Okay, that's actually funny. They out here having us play prop hunt. Wow. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, yeah, you know what? Caleb has always been some of the funnest invasions, in, in in my opinion. I don't know. I've tried so many different, like, areas. Yeah, I've tried a lot, of, a lot of different levels as well. Hey, it's a wizard! Hello, wizard! What is this? Aggressive right away. And he's going for the one-shot kill of the pebble. Okay. And then he's got that for roll catches. Interesting, interesting. Okay. This guy, dude. People and their names in Elden Ring, man. I've like not summoned some people to duel because their name is just gross. <laughs> it's like, why, man? Yeah. His damage output is pretty crazy on that. Hang on a second. <laughs> Moonvale. <laughs> the Moonvale arts. Nice. Why is my bubble tier not proc'd yet, though? That's my question. It's been very useless. It should have proc'd a while ago. Bye, sir. Yo, in ambience. Thank you so much for the donation, dude. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Invasions are back. Let's go. <laughs> you named your character random boss fight. Yeah, I still don't know why though. Like the that happened earlier too. My uh my bubble tier didn't pop. I think it might be like just on the cusp of like not being enough health. It's like mm. okay. One forty-four p. Yeah, I was looking at the bitrate. It seems fine. Uh, I don't know. It looks it looks fine on my end. Int builds are very strong. Like I have a one twenty-five int build. It's pretty damn powerful. Yeah, mine popped right at the end there, Italian. Yeah, <laughs> I saw, and his didn't. I don't know. How many moon veils have been confiscated so far? Quite a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a lot this PvP needs to be balanced, in my opinion. Like, I do like Elden Ring a lot, and but now that the novelty wore off, like, Dark Souls 3's PvP is far more balanced. Um, yeah, honestly, overall, it's just uh, quite a lot better. The variety in Elden Ring is great. Like, I love all the different Ashes of War, but the damage needs tweaking, the... The stun, like a lot of things about the game just aren't quite as balanced as Dark Souls 3. Doesn't mean it's not still a great game, but like comparing it, I've played like a lot of Dark Souls 3 and a lot of Elden Ring at this point. I, I still agree that Dark Souls 3 has the better Thank PvP. Great to see the streams back. Started watching your old Yeah, there's a lot of bugs that they still haven't patched, you know. Josh, thank you so much, games. man. I appreciate that. How have you been liking uh Dark Wait, started watching your old DS3 videos. Okay, so you've played Dark Souls 3, yeah. That makes sense. Yo, commit. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, yeah, whenever the servers come back, I'm going to do uh, kind of like an even amount of streaming of both Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3. Because, you know, there's still tons of people that want to play in PvP in Dark Souls 3. It's just down on PC. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hello, hello. What do we got? Uh, okay, let's do something interesting for you guys. We got a wizard. You guys can, you guys can team fight me. It's more interesting this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see what uh, that spear can do. 293. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a little... I'm watching out for the phantom hit of that spear. It's just going to do some damage. All right. Got a wizard. Yes, yes. Come through the area. Like a nice normal invasion, you know? Oh, damn. I forgot about the avatar, though. Oh, uh, watch out, wizard. Oh, no. Okay, the wizard lived. That's fine. <laughs> I'll fight the wizard. I'm um, coming, Mr. Wizard. Oh. Oh, you missed. <laughs> I wanna... I wanna land the jump attack. In fact... Oh, God. Hang on. Woo. Woo. Let me put on this. Oh, no. This thing can hit me as well, can't it? It can. <laughs> well, that was a backstab attempt, but... So, no. <laughs> oh, wizard, no! No! <laughs> Not the wizard! <laughs> He was my friend. He was hurting me, but he was my friend. I wanted to see if those can like panic roll combo. I don't think they do. I think the stun compared to how quick you can jump. Uh, did you see any cool unusual builds? Not so far yet. I'm sure we will though. We like just started the stream. Oh, that's been happening a ridiculous amount today though. Quite honestly. Too much, too much. Why does that happen so much? Yo, damn Elizabeth. Yeah, did you, thank you though. I read that. I'm sorry. Damn it. Why? <laughs> Why does that happen so much? Yeah, that's three today. Honestly, when I record the showcases, I guess I only do like three invasions, but I mean, I don't get that happening to me ever, really. Yeah, I guess that was the two minute bug. It is still an issue. I have it happen to me in the duels in the showcases sometimes, like. Maybe one every, like, fifth video will have it or something, but... Yeah, it, that's it's happening quite a lot more. Wait, is it Tuesday? No. Wow, I, I thought it was Tuesday. It's Saturday. <laughs> you said your Steam died, and, like, every Tuesday Steam has Steam maintenance, so I thought it was that. Yo, Ken, thank you so much, man. You're testing videos at the... Er, oh, the weapon testing videos. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, yeah, some weapons I'm not the best with. Um... So I try to practice those. At first, I wasn't the best with like dual halberds and stuff. I grew to like them more. Same with dual greatswords. Didn't use those much before. Using them a little bit more these days. Could try some like weapon mix-up combos as well. Um, this could be good if you have a frostbite halberd with a frostbite like rapier. Good setup. Oh no, yeah, Paul. I don't think it was. Hey, I don't think any of these have been like the person quitting out. I think it's straight up just the, the, the game. Godlike, I'm more aggressive, but I'm learning the ways of patience. Thank you, Sensei. Your videos have helped a lot. Oh, Ken, me. thank you so much, man. Honestly, yeah, just time investment. We all played like Dark Souls three so much, so uh, it kind of carried over to Elden Ring. It's a bit different, but like the spacing and stuff still very similar. So. The best level for a pure strength build damage wise. I'm honestly, like at, at like 125, you're doing pretty crazy damage in general. So pure strength works really well at that level as well. You love the one-handed greatsword. I know it actually. It's so weird. So I don't know if you guys. You guys have probably watched like some of the poise videos in this game. But when you're swinging a weapon that has hyper armor, in, hyper armor in this game, it cuts your poison at your base poison half. So technically, if you were rocking like a very big poise armor set, you you are better off one-handing a greatsword. Isn't that so weird? That's so strange to me. <laughs> I don't know. That was a weird design choice, in my opinion. Yo, real savage. Thank you. Working on a strength int that focuses fists, staff, and a halberd. And a great shield. <laughs> okay. Uh, thoughts? Well, if you're going the int route, I mean, the way I do my int builds, if I'm not cold infusing them and you plan to, like, magic infuse them, uh, but if you plan to cold infuse them because you're going strength int, then, yeah, just make sure you're using naturally strength scaling Working weapons. They'll get good strength in scaling when cold infused. If you're going for like a split build like that. Thoughts? Oh. Maybe recommendations for it low. Hello there, sir. The Grim Reaper. Whoa. Hey. That is cool. I like. Is that a spell? I've never seen that. All right, Grim. Show me what you got. You got a scythe. <laughs> You're taking me down. All right, let's go. Get your buff going. Get your wizarding on, sir. 
He's got uh, a death spell. Very appropriate for a death wizard. <laughs> Would the Reaper of Death use that? What the heck just hit me? What hit me? <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Something hit me in the butt. I take offense. Grim Reaper, your trickery. It will not be tolerated. <laughs> he just farted. Wizard farts. The worst kind of farts. They pew magic even when they emit their gases. <laughs> Very fun fight, Mr. Wizard. The Grim Reaper. That build looks cool, though, and I love the entrance, honestly. Oh, it might have been Ambush Shard. You're right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Very thematic build, indeed, indeed. Fun cosplay. You don't see those spells too often in general, right? So I could see that being... That's interesting. That was a cool build. I've seen some cool cosplays. I ran into Link quite a lot in the weapon showcases, which <laughs> I find hilarious. Uh, 80, yeah, let's try... Uh, we'll try here again. Oh, yeah, of course, Jiwa. This, like, the second that uh, the Dark Souls 3 servers are back for PC, I'll be doing, like, a mix of both. I've already said, like, I'm more of a fan of the way the combat is in DS3. I also like that you can have six players, you know? I feel like 2v4s is very fun, um, as opposed to like invading 1v3. It's not, I mean, it's fun still, obviously, but uh, yeah, the, the higher player count is something I really wanted for this game. I wanted them to have eight people in a lobby. That would have been sick, but they, they, they dumped it down to four. That was one disappointment for me. But yeah, whenever the DS servers come back, I'll be doing both. I'm still gonna obviously do all the weapon showcases for the video for Elden Ring, because it's actually pretty fun. I enjoy using all the weapons that I don't use. Uh, DS3 invasions are very quick though, and I like the the combat style. The higher player count is a huge plays a huge role as well, obviously. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I forget what it was, but I was taking a picture for a thumbnail for Dark Souls Three, uh, at some point, and it was after Elden Ring released, and I <laughs> I was trying to jump. That, that's the only thing that threw me so hard, like, uh, yeah, using, using X to jump, that caught me off guard, and triangle to pick things up, so, like, I'd walk up to things, and I'd two-hand my weapon, <laughs> it's like, damn it, <laughs> and that happened to me the first day I played El or Elden Ring, yo, damn, Elizabeth, thank you so much, oh, nice, co-op group, hello there, Kraras, hello, you I just, I just watched you. Do they, do they think I'm that way? Do you, do you see me? <laughs> I think, I really think they were standing here with his camera this way. And he, he really, I don't think he saw me. <laughs> Maybe he did. I don't know. Hey, what are we doing? Oh God. <laughs> okay, the sun bro definitely, definitely didn't know I existed until that moment. All right, we're going to. Gonna do some good old fashioned dismountering. <laughs> That's always a good time. Poor Lou is such a funny Ash of War, honestly. Gonna pretend to look this way, but throw fire this way. <laughs> Mind games. Backstab. Not a backstab. My heart. My heart. Oh. I thought he was gonna swing his sword at me. He's gonna parry him. <laughs> What about Ice Spear? Still does good damage. I mean, it's not the best, but it does good damage. Okay. This is looking like a fun time for this. Hey, boys. Hit me with something. Hit me with your best shot. Pretend to swing this way. Surprise! <laughs> Aww. I missed. At least he likes his jump attacks. I never really land the rolling attack on the dual swords. They tend to fail me. That's not a lot of damage for a great axe, honestly. Ah, uh, surprised I didn't get backstabbed. Oh, unfortunate. Ah, uh, he didn't go for it. Um, it's fun here. Try an S stock. We don't use this much. Oh, that's not where my shield is. Hmm, what can I trade him with? What will stun him? I mean, he's naked. Ah, uh, 
He didn't go for the bait parry. Unfortunate. Vigor check, yeah. That guy didn't have much of that. Honestly, heal up. There you go. PS4 is crazy active. That's good. I'm happy that at least console has that right now. Ah, uh, he's really not going to fall for it. He's very cautious with what he's using. How do I R2. Oh, wow. That actually roll caught him. Damn. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. That R2 has some long range. Wow. Uh, yeah, quite a, quite a lot of them. Um, not the past month because I've kind of been away, but uh, I talked to Lost My Sanity Prod uh, quite often, at least. Yo, TJ, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. That was a fun invasion. Very different. I don't see Axis too much. I don't keep moving around. Where have I not really invaded much? Let's try there. Yeah, I heard that, Gordon. Gruden. Like, I get it. I, I could see that definitely impacting the player base. I'm currently using a draw katana setup with dual katana and claw backup. I do use incants for non-aggressive players. I use placidus axe. By the time they reach me, I can dodge out of the way. Yeah, I mean, some of the, the I guess like catch flame and stuff is like some of the faster casting incantations. It is hard when someone's playing super defensive against it. If you're going pure casting, it won't work too much. Uh, being a pure wizard is a little easier, I find, because uh, the carrion blade that you can use the magic spell. Uh, sword comes up very quickly and I can combo that into the piercer. Uh, I haven't done like pure incantation only like half with a sword but uh, It's interesting you do use yeah placidus axe. Wait, how do you say that? Placidus axe? Placidus axe is what I've been saying my whole life Ken. Uh, Yeah, that thing reacts very quickly by the way uh, But yeah, the dual katana setup is very fun. Wait, I flaming strike on this. Uh, let's use the scythe a little bit Aldrich Bifrost? Can't tell if his name is Boyfrost or Bifrost. Oh, they want like a duel. Oh, nice. Morgoth's cur cursed sword. Lightning or into the face. You know what I never use? Yeah, rolling attacks. <laughs> I honestly need to use that more. Especially on the scythe. That's a really good one. Same with the jumping heavy. I don't know what's in hand, but. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if you can use jumps that easily like that. Dodge the explosion. Farm the dual grave scythes. Yeah, I don't have a second one actually. I have the regular scythe. No second scythe though. Although it's hard to punish his range with the scythe in this one, so we're gonna use the lance as a mix up here. We can actually get roll catches in. Oh, that did half my HP. Are you still alive? <laughs> fun fight, man. That was more hits than I thought. See, yeah, 80 throws me off. I actually haven't done level 80 PvP in like two months, so. <laughs> I was expecting him to die two roll catches before he did. Alright, we'll switch up the weapon frame. He's got a great hammer. Let's use the Beast Cleaver. This is different. What does that do? Let's try this. I never use the follow-up. Yeah. Because they're kind of always out of range. Oh, that's fast recovery. Oh, that's the R2 when you have the uh, the buff going, right? Yeah. Earn. My man, HP, it's important. <laughs> Was that Phantom level 237? Okay, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, he did half shot me, honestly. That makes sense. Fifty's been your go-to around the lake. Yeah, uh, wait, 50's been getting all around the lake. That's cool though, no data. I haven't actually tried like level 50. I've seen everyone try a pretty low level recently uh, in videos and streams, so I guess it's super active the lower you go. It's so it's actually interesting to see like the damage disparity between the levels. Mr. 900 HP over here, <laughs> yeah. I bet his great hammer would have like smacked though, honestly. It was just a little on the the no HP side. Uh, I okay. So I heard that uh, chain casting is a little different. Uh, things of the same class still speed cast, but uh, if they're different spells, they don't. That's what I remember reading. Um, let's go to Noxdell again. 90's been your go-to. Yeah, see, 80, 90. I need to try more Landell Bayonet. I'll try more. I got a few invasions there. It was like one or two, I think. 
70 is the best for mages, like areas. Yeah, Noxtella is very cool. 80 is like pushing it. Oh, I saw the souls there. Go grab those from way earlier. Yeah, it's kind of sad that like the player base is a lot lower on Elden Ring really quickly. But I mean, to be fair, they didn't do a lot of like PvP balance updates or like give incentives to PvP in this. Unless people like already prefer the souls like combat, you know what I mean? Um, so I, DLCs will obviously bring lots of people back. That's, that's kind of what happened with Dark Souls 3. I wasn't really there for the beginning of DS3. Like, I was, but I didn't I didn't stream or play it like that. So I don't know how much the PvP changed from, like, launch to the first DLC. If anybody in chat actually, like, experienced that, did, they, did it change considerably? Did they have, like, quite a lot of updates? Because I, I know they changed poise from what I heard in Dark Souls 3. From the OG one. Among Us! <laughs> Another viewer. Honestly, yeah, I guess it really is like a low amount of players because all these have, most of these solos have been viewers. Among Us always gives me stuff. What is this Among Us? Hey! Blood tainted excrement. <laughs> no, I don't want your bloody excrement. <laughs> all right, let's go, man. You have range. I got range. Okay. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> all right. 2.5. I wish you could see the player base on PlayStation, honestly. It'd be really cool. I don't I don't know how to like check that. I don't think you can. But you can check the Steam charts. They're honestly not the best in terms of player. I think it's like 40,000 right now from what I checked. Um I think 40,000 was what I look like, or well, not what I, I look 40,000. I've aged quite considerably since you guys have last seen me. <laughs> Whee! Aw, oh, very fun fight among us. <laughs> he gave me the bloody poop. <laughs> Does it have a purpose? Can I do something with this bloody poop? Go to the doctor, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know what level to, you know, recommend to everyone. I do 125 for the showcases. It takes about like three minutes between invasions. Um, I jump around from like Castle Soul, Halig Tree, Farah Missoula for like 125. 80, I've seemed to, I, like I want to get more at Landell, but... Did I? No, I was joking, Tally. <laughs> I said I was 40,000, like I aged that that old, you know? But no, I actually shaved my face, <laughs> if anything. Yeah, I think so too, No Data. I think that would uh, get you a lot more invasions. Just kind of like how they did for uh, Dark Souls 3's Dried Finger. You get that extra summon. Uh, but yeah, second Phantom would have been the way. Oh god! Well, the, the, the bots still exist. Damn, that's impressive. <laughs> we'll get rid of those. <laughs> Yeah, between those areas, you'll get invasions. I mean, none are super active. Yeah, 133 would go down to 120 cob. Kind of like Dark Souls 3. That's what, That was a popular level. If you're getting bloody poop, remember to get it checked by a medical professional. <laughs> or use it for rivers of blood power. You just coat your blade with it. Add extra power to the rivers of blood. The bots never stopped. I guess not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, plus 17 is plus 7 according to that uh, sheet that I saw for weapon balancing. Oh, yeah, 100% yeah, Adriad. I swear, if you guys want the most active invasions from, like, whatever, like, every Souls player has told me um, is, like, the lowest level you can be. But, like, you know, level 20, you're not going to have an interesting build, so maybe try you can try out 40. You'll get, like, all the early game areas, and it is very popular because people tend to co-op a lot more earlier on, I find. They'll summon random people. It's just more active at those areas. Um, okay, let's go try here. Rivers of Bloody Stool. No. <laughs> Jake, yeah, yeah, I definitely will try making a level, like, 50 and 70 so I can jump around all the levels for you guys. Um, my 125s and my, like, 150 and 137s are good to go, though. Yeah, level 40... <laughs> Is that my game crashing? <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Let's, let's task manager that. Oh, dear. My ears. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be fair, that does happen from time to time, even when I'm recording the, the showcases. But not usually when I'm attempting an invasion. That was pretty weird. Yeah, Sovereign, I feel that way too. Like, it's hard to use some of the heavier weapons, right? Like, even using, like, the Colossals and stuff. It's going to be, like, it's, yeah, so difficult at level, like, 40. Whoopsie poopsie. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Get out of the way. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen quite a lot of body, video body videos videos. That's a tongue twister. Did you, Jay? Yeah, it happens. I, it's always been like a PC Souls game thing. It, it'll crash from time to time. Even Dark Souls 3 was still doing that to me, like at the like after its final patches and stuff. Not as often, I guess, but it would happen sometimes in like a three, four hour stream. So. Optimal starting class. I would say Vagabond for the most part. Um, There are definitely some other classes that would benefit from other starting classes. There's crashes on PS4. Weird. I haven't heard it crash as much on console, but yeah, I definitely can. Could just be the game. Madness snipe! Yow. Well, that's gonna suck. <laughs> if I dodge towards it, I'm gonna get the phantom hits, but if I dodge left and right, well, I roll off a cliff. Okay. So we, we wait this out a little. Oh, that was a bad time for me to buff. <laughs> Sir, come on now. That is it. We, we, we. Yes, it's over. <laughs> really? <laughs> this cannot be your entire strat. <laughs> I don't know what he's got going on over there. I'm blinded by the fireball. Okay. I will hit you with an urn. Where's your teammate? I know he exists. <laughs> Sniper pro over here. Um, oh, when my game crashes, my inventory gets reset. That's right. I don't trust this, but I'm going to follow you. But I'm going to use Raptors of the Mist as a safety precaution. Hello there. What are we doing? You, want, you really want to fight on a tree? You see me? I'm here. Hello. Imagine, oh, that's that stupid thing. That, like, when you hit somebody, it, like, makes their attack miss. Very fun fight, though. I thought he had a teammate. Oh, he died as I was joining. Oh, okay. I'm very unobservant. I do have the fire pots. Uh, I don't know, the lightning just... Uh, they tend to do more damage. You've been on a strength build, oddly enough. I have no idea. Uh, can you explain how to dodge roll bleed procs? Yeah, so, well, how they work. Well, it's just, I don't know if it's an intended thing throughout the game, but it's been in every Souls game. Uh, maybe it's something they just can't fix with the iframes. But if you have a weapon that uh, inflicts status build, when someone's dodge rolling, it still actually adds status uh, build up if you hit them through their dodge. Even though you're not hitting them, uh, the status build up will still hit them through the iframes. And if you do that, right as it's, a, it's about to like fully fill, you get stunned by the bleed buildup, but you dodge the damage because you're in your iframes, right? So it's, it's actually the stronger in Elden Ring than any other game because before you, you didn't even get stunned. You would just dodge the bleed through the dodge and it would just go back to zero. It didn't stun you. But uh, Elden Ring, you'll get stunned and some status effects still get their full like status effect like madness. So madness is definitely one of the stronger ones for sure. Even if you dodge it, you still get punished by it. I'm really surprised they never fixed that. Yeah, sleep and uh, madness can't be dodged because... <laughs> which is weird. I don't know. I don't know how they didn't think that was going to be an issue. It's like the guy actually dodged time to write, but he still gets slept and like punished. Same with the madness. Those were definitely oversights. Yeah. I noticed that right at the beginning of the game, to be honest. Like, the Madness build was one of the first ones I used, and I didn't know it was doing that at the time, and I was like, why are they always getting Madness build up so quickly? But, yeah, we learned that after. Yo, James, thank you for the membership, man. I don't know. I mean, FromSoft has never been one to patch quickly, so, 
either they're like already moving and doing their next project or working on the DLCs, but yeah. I, I had hope, but like it's been like quite a few months and they didn't change much, so. Yeah, at least they restricted it to one weapon. <laughs> but Yeah, I've been liking Raptor of the Mist though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could do a, a pure wizard stream next time. I like my wizard, honestly. So, yeah, I think the wizard is a very strong build. Uh, do you play on max graphics, by the way? I turned chat... Uh... This is what I use. So, quite a lot of max. All highs. I have a pretty strong PC, though. Hello there! Yeah, it actually is. I've been enjoying it. I've been using it quite a lot, though. Um, okay, you know what? Let's go. Can I do-wield my stitchers? I can. Hello there. <laughs> naked and naked. <laughs> Wait. That's an interesting outfit. Oh, God. What the? You want me to get naked with you? I mean, I could get naked with you. That's what you is that what you're talking about? Am I supposed to be naked with you? Woo! Hold up, I'm trying to get naked here. And my rings are all out of order because my game crashed. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not I'm not used to the naked life though, I'm gonna be honest with you. This isn't this isn't me. <laughs> oh, I thought I rolled that. Okay, I don't know the range on this, to be honest. <laughs> naked and like it's got it's got pretty good range from what I'm seeing okay the running heavy goes a little bit further than I'm used to Aye. <laughs> I won <laughs> that's actually kind of funny <laughs> My face is pretty good. Hang on, can I showcase it here? It's kind of red. <laughs> my hair isn't really red. No, I think, wait, actually, let me take off my helm. I think it's brown or black on this character. Oh, this is bad lighting, these angles though. I think it's, I think it's dark brown. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Yeah, my hair is usually red because of the helm. I, I think, I really do think the Melania helm would have looked a little cooler uh, if they didn't have the hair tied into it. I mean, I like the helm a lot. I wear it all the time, obviously, but uh, yeah, I wish I wish I got to see my ponytail. I'm at 80 Sovereign, so like it's a bit slow, but I am still getting at least a few invasions around the map. Mm, most interesting thing, like if I, if I can patch one thing, I think at least an overall encompassing patch of the damage output would make the PvP better. If they're not gonna like do a lot of things to balance a lot of like the Ashes of War and like weapons and stuff, the, a damage cut would, would help a lot. I think. Cause like, in this game, Ashes of War, they do a lot of damage, like obscene amounts compared to regular R1s. In like Dark Souls 3, you had, you had weapon arts, right? But they didn't do like, they didn't have one shot capability without being like a one shot build where you had like no HP and you had like all this setup and stuff. In Elden Ring on my like 60 int character, if I use Glenstone Pebble, uh, I can one shot someone just because I have 60 intelligence. So I think I think that would be one of the, the best things they could do. Lower the damage overall or like fine tune the Ash of War damage at least because that's where a huge amount of like the damage disparity comes from. The R1s and stuff not too bad. Dual wielding though. Dual wielding could use some updates. It does it does double damage and like um, it should do maybe like 1.6 times damage. I think double damage makes it a little bit ridiculous. But Hello there. Yeah, Spill Leaf was strong, but like, yeah, I mean, if someone had health, they were surviving the combo. You know what I mean? All right, so we got a three-man team for the first time. We got a wizard. I want that wizard ball to not hit me. Dodge the wizard ball. <laughs> All right, wizard, step into my lair. Oh, oh, that was the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> I missed my ambush. 
Take my lightning urn. Fuck. <laughs> Gale, you have no health, Gale. What? What are you doing, Gale? Oh, this could be optimal. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Get this off my screen. <laughs> Very fun fight, boys. The best ambush Ashavor. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> GG, though, guys. Yeah, I guess it's a preference, although, like, yeah. I, I just don't think that certain Ashes of War should one shot when I'm not even trying to. I know some people like the damage of Elden Ring, I guess. They like fights to be over quick, but I don't know. I think it, in terms of balancing, it could use quite a lot for the damage output. Yo, I eat calamari. Thank you for the membership, man. That was a really cool little invasion. I never invade there either. What are some other weird spots? Oh, I haven't gone here yet. Uh, this character is 80, Shinren. Horalu. <laughs> Always a fun Ash of War. Uh, do I only stream on YouTube? Yeah, I have a Twitch. It's more of like a fallback if something ever happens to my YouTube channel, you know? Uh, I have streamed there on the past when YouTube's been like down and stuff. Yeah, exactly. They already, like, so the way Elden Ring and, and All Souls PvP works is they have, like, a PvE damage scaler and the PvP. And, and they always, like, have had that. Certain things will do more damage in PvE and, like, be nerfed in PvP. Uh, rings and talismans are, like, an example. I don't have any of the rings that really suck in PvP, but uh, some of the magic, or, I mean, damage elemental boosting ones, they're kind of, like, nerfed in PvP as opposed to what they say on the talisman. So they already kind of have, like, a separation. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome, Jake. I think it'd be very successful. They had like a, a PvP focused Souls game. I mean, yeah, there is PvP, but it's never the main aspect. I think it would do very well. Oh really, Gluteus? On PS4 for you as well. I'm getting invasions. Um, yeah. They're just not quite as instant as like the Dark Souls 3 days with the Wex Dust mod, because that's pretty damn instant. <laughs> if this game had a Wex Dust mod, I believe it'd be pretty instant as well. Yo, David, thank you so much for the membership, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll be a wizard next stream. I enjoy being a wizard. It was a fun time. I haven't used a wizard in, like, two months either, because I've been doing all the weapon showcases, so. Yeah, next stream, in a couple days, I'll use a wizard. I spawned inside the wall. <laughs> I didn't even notice, did I? <laughs> or are you talking about, like, a video that I have? I, I do remember spawning in a wall at one point in Elden Ring, yeah. I recall that. Hello? The sleeper! And he's sleeping! Hello! Hey! <laughs> no, I don't want to be mean. But I want to fight you, sleeper. Horaloo could be funny, but uh, he's cute. Cannon? <laughs> Sir, don't make me wake you with the cannon. Time to wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Oh, he's got sleep swords. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Those are strong. Oops. I, man. <laughs> bow. <laughs> I'm just trying to bow here. <laughs> All right, sleeper. What do you got? He's got sleeping powers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. indeed. We're going to have to not get slept because that'll do quite immense damage. Did I eat the wrong pellet again? I did that in an invasion once. In my invasion stream. Which pellet is the sleep pellet? Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, no, the dog. I'm sorry. You can kill the dog. I, I always eat the ice pellet instead of the sleep pellet. That was some heavy sleep buildup, though. You're not wrong, man. <laughs> he would have too slept me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I die if he sleeps me, so I have to really avoid that. Oh, it's because he had the buffs going. Okay. That makes sense. I'm in a corner. Yeah, I'm getting slept. Oh, why did I get out of that so quick? Oh, very fun fight. I thought the animation was longer. Did he, like, hit me after I slept with, like, the second sword? Because, yeah, that could have been pretty devastating. 
Those, those swords are actually very strong. I learned that in the showcase. Especially when you apply the buff. <laughs> hey, Dave, what's up, man? How have you been? And Josh, thank you for the membership again, man. Glad you guys have been enjoying the videos while I was gone. They nerfed sleep, did they? Hmm. Yeah, I got hit by the sleep, and then I kind of was able to roll out right after. I don't know if it's because, like, he hit me with both swords, and, like, the first one slept me, and then the second one uh, woke me. I did do that in my showcase on someone, and I was like, oh. So sometimes it's actually better to R1. Just hitting the person removes the buff. Yeah, that's also a weird part to that. Oh, he was dual hitting me? Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. I did that in the video, and I was like, wait, why did he wake up? Yeah, you're right. That is what happened. Yeah. They're going great today, actually. We're finding more than I thought. At the start, it was a little bit slow, but now we're getting uh, pretty good invasions. Past three have been instant. Although I'm invading really weird areas that I never invade, so yeah. <laughs> like here. Figment. Hello, Figment. Uh, have I used... I think I've used the Gross Masters once on a lightning invasion stream, but other than that, I didn't I didn't really touch them much. Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah, I used them, and I thought they were terrible because I didn't have one of them upgraded, so I was dueling, and I was like, why are these doing such low damage? <laughs> I remember now, yeah. I, I didn't really use them. That was funny. <laughs> to be fair, you know, none of my chat told me either, so... But yeah, I could definitely add them back to my dex build. That was, it was actually hilarious. Hello there! Hello there! Um, What's this one have? Wait, no wait. One of these has Royal Knight Resolve, the other one has Giant Hunt. Yeah, I haven't done any Giant Hunting today and I want to. There's my fill! <laughs> Aw, you had to stun me in my reverse backstep, sir. That would have been a beautiful roll catch, but you ruined it. That tail is not God, it can't reach me. <laughs> oh, I love this. I'm playing dodgeball. Oh, that one. I don't like that one. That one's actually more effective than the other one. Get your fireball out of here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, you know what? Great Epia has Flame of Red Mane. Oh, it's raining. What a time to swap to this Ash for. Taste my flames. This guy loves his tail whip. I like it. Oh, that was that was one of those vanishing fireballs you hear about. <laughs> they disappear halfway through the cast. <laughs> I have not stopped dodging. <laughs> to be fair, they're actually good dodge. Oh, I got hit. I'm a failure. I jinxed myself. I was about to praise myself and I got hit for it. No, that was actually a fun invasion. Damn it. This is happening too much. That was going to be fun. Prompt. Thank you for the membership. I appreciate it. Maybe I can get back in there. Uh, yeah, I try to... Well, I try to use them two-handed as well between the duels, but maybe sometimes I do use dual wield more. I just honestly forget between each of the duels. I'll try my best to do like a half and half at least. Like weapons with unique R2s, you mean? Yeah, the two-minute disconnect is still a thing apparently. <laughs> It's happened like four times today. Oddly enough. Halo Scythe Enjoyer. I actually, you know, I don't even mind. <laughs> L2 the movie. I just starred in the sequel. That's funny. Happens the most. Actually, honestly, I feel like the Halo Scythe people do that a lot with. To be fair, it's like, it's a good zoning tool. Puts the pressure on as like your other teammate can aggress. Yeah, sadly, I thought I really thought that two minute thing was gone. It was here before I left for my trip. Still here, apparently. Sadly. Uh, an anonimo, anonimo. This way. Wait. Could be on the other side of that giant wall. This way. Okay, we'll go around. Does it? Yeah, I'm sure it's useful in PvE. I never really used the Halo Scythe in my playthrough. I've only PvP'd with it. Yeah, Twin Blades need buffs. I talk about it all the time in the showcase. When you two-hand it, that like pre-strike, so useless. And it's, like they just roll out before the actual strike, so... Uh, yeah, 
Especially since they don't go forward like a lot with the attack, the R1, like the initial two-handed R1. I feel like it, it needs way more love. I mostly use them one-handed. <gasps> oh, yes. It has been 80 years. Was my aim a little off? My sense is so high on my controller. Favorite weapon slash weapon type? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't used the cannon in quite some time. You don't see me. Don't see me at all. Ah. Fire in the hole. I'm actually trying to shoot it right through there to surprise them. They think they're safe. I might use my mouse. <laughs> Damn, it actually went through. Uh, favorite weapon type? Mm, that's a tough one, honestly. I like great swords and great spears. I can go over there. That's just such a journey. Ah, oh, boys, we're okay. Um, going over there, I have to go that way and up, right? I haven't done it in so long. Ooh, or down? Can I get down on this side? You got a lost. Okay, wait. There. And then I could run around. Okay, okay. Yeah. Why are the leaves freaking out? Yeah. I think it's like a disparity between you invading someone else's world and their leaves being somewhere else. I don't know. I've seen it a lot where they like glitch around. Yeah. There's this ladder here. I remember now. Oh, hello there. Oh my god, Barb! <laughs> Is this gonna be an implementation to get the finger? Hello there, Elden Espel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, that's still so kind of you, honestly. I appreciate it. I'm coming, dual spear. I'm here. I'm here, Elden. What is his name? Elden Jespel? Okay, he didn't he didn't switch up his roll timing at all. Oh god. <laughs> Wait. We can maybe still end this with the cannon. No, he died to poison. <laughs> oh, we tried. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Barb. I'm honestly, I, I was expecting a request for the, the finger. <laughs> I actually, I, there's still some weapons that I've seen highly requested. I have to collect them, at least try to, to get two of them as well. Uh, I really want to do the St. Trina's Torch for you guys. I just, I don't have it. I gotta farm it, and I wasn't home to farm it. So, that will begin. I'll try to get all the extra weapons that have been requested. <laughs> Thank you, dumb souls. Thank you. Thank you so much, though, Barb. <laughs> It was good, folks. It was good. Road tripped a lot through like Utah, spent time with the uh, girlfriend and her family, and then now she's here as well. So that's why my uh, my streaming kind of got like extra postponed. She decided to take a trip if here as well. If you had to use only use two weapons for the rest of the lifespan of Elden Ring, mm, what would they be? Two Since weapons. You know all of them now, though. I, like in tough situations, I want a really good weapon, so I guess I'd have a Colossal, since people tend to be really bad at getting roll caught. I can do well with uh, the poke of the Colossal in certain situations. And then the other one could be like a multi-purpose tool weapon. So maybe a Halberd. They do good poise damage. You can put lots of different Ashes of War on them. So like a Halberd and maybe a Colossal Sword. I would still say Great Spears are very good, but Halberds, I guess, technically are like more encompassing. <laughs> Yo, Leon, thank you, man. They are, they are. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been collecting some of the daggers as well. I got the Chris dagger recently. Uh, but uh, it, it's just a dagger with the, what's it called? Um, Glintstone Pebble. So I don't know how interesting that one is. I do have the Reduvias as well. Yeah, it was a great vacation. Some good outside time. Got a little bit of color in my skin, sort of hand a little bit. I was pale. Uh, we definitely need a build with fists and pots only. Yeah, I don't know how effective that could be. Maybe I, I'd need to farm a lot of them though. Oh, we got Fogwald. I, I have like, you can hold what? 
20 pots and like 10 of the ritual pots. We definitely need a build with fists I think. and pots only. You got a good aim when you throw them. Sometimes maybe. The Chris has huge range though. Life. Yeah, yeah, it seemed different. Nice. What is 1,000 pesos in maple leaves? In maple leaves. I actually don't know the conversion to Canadian from pesos. Uh, but Canadian at the moment is like. Well, one US dollar is like 1.28 or 1.3 Canadian, I think. That's that's the average, it always fluctuates, but that's the usual amount. Let's try some more Kalid, actually. Hey, thank you so much, though, Sentient Eagle. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe like... Honestly, that I don't know. I'll look at that. 1,000 pesos to 10 Canadian is about the same. Okay. Okay, so like that's about like a hundred Canadian. <laughs> We're doing math in our Elden Ring stream. Look what you guys have me doing. Dishonest math. Okay. So many conversions. Didn't know Chase was Canadian. I am indeed Canadian. I am of the East Coast, Canada. Uh, I actually only have a few builds, but yeah, I just make a backup save. Uh, so if I change something I don't like on the character, I just revert it with the backup save. Are people still... Okay, now this is going to be like a breaking point for me. Are people still AFK camping? That stupid tower? I'm about to find out. If they are, I swear. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I never invaded up here, because I would just get a guy in here AFK camping. Not really? Oh, hell yeah, because I actually love this area. It's really cool. It's got, like, the cool rain sometimes. You get the dragon area. You get the, uh, the tower. Not as many. Okay, cool. I'll try to invade here more, because I really have done no PvP here. Just simply because of that, when the game came out, people were just camping in there, and I decided to leave when I invaded. Can't you throw bombs? I haven't seen any of the methods. I know you could sort of shoot your cannon, but like if they're inside, you can't because the window doesn't let like the cannon through. Yo, Chris, thank you so much. Yeah, they're going to be every couple days or so until uh, my girlfriend heads home. And then after that, they'll be kind of back to the regular schedule. So in about like two and a half weeks, I'll be back to regular streams. Still doing the showcases though, because we've committed. So it'll be like a balance of the two. Yeah, it's not even good. I mean, at high level, I could see it, because when an invader returns home, you get, like, some souls, but... Yeah, there's much better ways to farm in, in Elden Ring souls, anyway. I didn't know why it was so popular to begin with when it first happened. It's very random. What about the gross message? We haven't really dabbled in the curved swords today. Unless they do it specifically because they just dislike the invader mechanic, which is just so weird to me. Like, <laughs> you're playing it like a souls game. It's, like, such a core mechanic. Oh, that's a cliff. <laughs> and I, wait, is it a cliff? No, I'm good. Hello there. Night, man. Oh, you know what? I haven't used curved swords yet, but I don't know how interesting they are. A wizard, Harry. I want to get out of that one's range. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so this is when I regret not having a lightning ash of war attune, like the lightning strike one. Because then I can kind of punish Stars of Ruin. I'm going to put that on after this invasion, I think. Okay, we're going to need something to chase them down. What if we not really used at all? We don't really use spears at all. Eh, they're not that fun, though. What's this? What if I can Horalu the wizard? That's more of a fun kill. Let's go with that. Hello there, wizard. Your enemy, the pebble. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they'd trade into it. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I have a fond love for the horror loop. <laughs> D -d -d Double kill, kill. <laughs> I love that the wizard didn't roll out. He was like, fire some more magic. <laughs> Give him the magic treatment. My favorite, honestly. Uh, we could try in here. I never invade in this area. These are all hilarious. Uh, what ash is that? It's called Horalu Earthshaker. Also, give me one sec. I'm just going to put on the uh, Ash War. Why am I holding those two? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, Flame of Red means like whatever. Where is the lightning one? 
What? Oh, I have... Okay, hang on a second. I must have a weapon that has it on it currently stored. No? Okay. Well, I have extras in here. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oops. Use the goat. Yeah, we could definitely use the goat. Uh, Ash of War. I wanted to put the lightning strike. Oh, I had one. Am I blind? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'm just blind. This could be a great place for some horror Lou Earthshaker. Yo, Josh, I think the AFK farmers were so popular because of those videos. That's true. There was like the rune selling videos. You're right. You're right. And the rune farming. That definitely impacted it. It's crazy how much like YouTube can kind of impact a game experience sometimes when you think about that. Thank you so much, Josh. I agree, though. I bet that happened. I think the elf farmers were so popular because make a of those what? videos when the game came out how to make a million souls off even though low level reds give nothing low. <laughs> he made a beat only only fans. Oh my god. I oh, dude. <laughs> I saw ads for that everywhere. Yo, Sean, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I was trying to get an invasion in here. I don't know if we will. How often do people co-op in here? What kind of build is this? Just a kind of like a regular strength build. Nothing too fancy, just like a wide range of weapons with Ashes of War. Yeah, I got a, I got a farm. Where do you get the sleep torch pole? I actually don't have that. I will grab that in my own time for the showcase too. I have no idea where to get that. Ah, uh, this is level 80 because I was trying to invade Kaled, and everyone said 75, 80 ish could get a lot of Kaled. Could try Fort Faroth. Dex waifus. I think I have one, right? We only did one with like the lighter armor invasion stream. I do need to make some more though. Oh uh, yeah, I play 80, 125, 150. 125 is just like more of the dual spot for the showcases. So that's what I've been doing for the last while for the showcases and invasions. So I tried 80 today and then I guess tomorrow we could, is 150 still busy? Cause I have a 150 wizard. I would like to do some wizarding. <laughs> it's been a while. A curved sword parry. I'd have to put the parry on the curved sword, wouldn't I? Toxic witch. Hello, toxic witch. Um, I have to go to my Ash of Wars to get that parry for you. Uh, what are we going to use? He's a toxic witch. Is it pure casting? Oh, that's kind of like rough on the wizard. I, I need it. Okay, I'll come in here with this weapon, I guess. I hate you. <laughs> that is your name, I suppose, but I hate you. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what I just got? Yeah, this, this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this, this is good. <laughs> this is why I'm getting hit by that. <laughs> it's a casting war, but I'm a melee sword. <laughs> oh, wait. Does he have his flask going? I don't have my flask going. Hang on. Let me get my buff here. If I'm going to hit you with lightning, I'm going to have my buff. Let's go. Cast. Yo, Michael. Thank you so much. Uh, Sorry, I, I got to read that, but I also got to fight this at the same time. <laughs> uh, My crippling addiction to my FromSoft games. I know. I'm actually so displeased that by the time I came back, the DS3 servers weren't back yet. I'm kind of sad about that. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they would have them back and we'd be able to jump between them. Okay, we could have a heal dude. That disappointed me. <laughs> Melee is my specialty. <laughs> Pebble. You had me bested in the wizard war though. <laughs> Very fun fight, Mr. Witch. Michael, thank you so much, though, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's me, though. Like, no matter the Souls game that comes out, I'm probably going to play them all at this point. My first one was Dark Souls 2. And actually, I lied. My first one was uh, not even a Souls game, Michael. It was uh, Lords of the Fallen, if you've heard of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that game was amazing. So I played through that. I beat that. And then my friend's brother, who told me up to play that game in general, said, yeah, why don't you try the Souls games then? 
And then I played Dark Souls 2 and I thought it was like a godsend. And then I played Dark Souls 3 and it just kind of like kept escalating. <laughs> and then I played Dark Souls 1 and because I played Dark Souls 1 kind of late, it wasn't my favorite because the movement wasn't as fluid, you know, but... Yeah, you remember Lords of the Fallen? It was kind of like, it was meant to be a Souls-like in a way. Yo, Dylan! Thank you so much, man. Bacon. Is that the dedicated bacon donation? Uh, yeah, I believe, I think some of the magic ashes of war do scale off the intelligence stat. I know the, uh, what is the cane, not the cane one, but the, the great sword that has the explosion and you get it from the death bird. I always forget its name, even though I've made a video on it. <laughs> I always forget its name. But yeah, that one definitely scales off in, so I don't know off by heart which ones do and don't, but I think Glintstone Pebble does get stronger if you use it on Int. Death Poker, thank you. Yes, Death Poker. You're right. How could I forget that? Death Bird. <laughs> I said half the word. But yeah, some of them do. Uh, no, I've never played the Surge. I've heard that. Oh, Erodak! Hello, Erodak! Uh, round two. What do I have that's kind of interesting? Um, what did I fight you with last time? I can use a Scythe. Try Scythe out. The pocket souls. Oh yeah, I never went back and finished. I guess a mod run could be cool, since we don't have the servers at the moment. You know. Oh, that's cool. I see. I see. So that's what you're going for. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My. Okay. I need something with a lot more poise. I see a Rodak. I see. I happened to choose the correct weapon prior in our fights. Now I understand what you were going for earlier. <laughs> So if you have the buff, I don't know like what kind of poise you tank through. Okay. Okay, so I can tank some things. Nice, nice, nice. I think we'll go for the finish with this maybe. If it works. Very fun fight. Very cool though. It does it has a lot of poise, actually. Catch those hands. I did, dude. They poise. I didn't expect them to poise through the scythe. Although the scythe doesn't have the most poise damage, I suppose. I think it's still poised through the great spear. <laughs> That's a unique build, though. We did fight that earlier. I just I didn't get to see the the poise of it. I guess with whatever I fought him with prior, kept getting stunned. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Usually days that I stream, I don't upload a video. I just because YouTube algorithm is weird. If you like double dip on uploads, it's not the best thing to do. I find. Um, let's try over here. <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, we, we fought a Rodak at the beginning. He was running, I think, the same build. I had the Cestus. Is, one, is, po is, Scythe, uh, is the Scythe the same poise amount as a Halberd? 103. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Kind of have similar swing speeds. I never actually paid attention to how much poise damage a Scythe can do. Yeah, oh, by the way, how's Endure in Elden Ring? I haven't really used it. Does it work similar to the Perseverance, or does it last longer? Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing, Shilexi, for the channel. It's been awesome. It truly has. Um, Where were we last in Caleb? Did I try here? Let's try here. Oh. I almost spilled my coffee. <laughs> it's worse than full oh, yeah, unfortunately. Doesn't last much longer, but you can tank a trade. Okay. So I can, like, cast it, kind of run towards them, maybe tank a trade in that time frame. Does reset your poise. That's a good... That's true. There are some actual boards that do that. That's kind of nice if you're running a, a high poise build. Oh, uh, yeah, Flying Pend. All my bots uh, just auto-upload after. Sometimes they might not be like HD right away, or they might not show up for an hour or two. Uh, it's just a processing. Some days they're instant. Uh, yeah, YouTube's been strange like that for me always. Uh, so in the U.S., I went to I went to Colorado, and then we uh, road tripped mostly through Utah. Um, touched like New Mexico, like driving through it. So it was just kind of like a road trip. Stayed in a bunch of different areas. It's pretty awesome actually. Saw some sights. Went to the Grand Canyon. Did a few things like that. I've been there once before as well, but we went to like a different half of it this time, so it was cool. This way. What the? Jump. 
Oh, a hunter. We haven't seen many blues, honestly. I get more blues in the recordings. I, we haven't seen many today. That's why. Uh, my girlfriend did, because she has, like, a, a professional camera that she uses, so she has pictures of it. I didn't. Hello there, Seller hey, Tia. Hey. Yeah, that's definitely something I could do. If I can, like, import it into the Discord. Um, what's this one have? So that's Frostbite, and that's Frostbite. What, what Ash of War? Flaming Strike. <laughs> Honestly, I made this, like, build. Not made this build, but I chose the Ashes of War pretty quickly before the actual, uh, invasion stream. <laughs> so... Yeah, we have that. Woo! Dodge. Solertia got a katana. Ooh, dual katana. Melania katana. That's cool. I don't see that too much. Oh, enough poise to tank it. Oh, that's not Melania katana. It's two Nagikibas. Cool. I have flaming strike. We gotta get in a little bit closer to use the flaming strike and then. <laughs> oh, he does have Melania. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, they do look the same though. I'm gonna give that to you. They look very similar. Very fun fight. That's a smart trick. I didn't even think about that. You could definitely catch people off guard with that. I could see that being very effective. Almost caught me with the unsheath. <laughs> she gripes every time I say Colorado. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, they make fun of my pronunciations of some things. Apparently Canadians, well, not all Canadians, but like in different areas will say things. Apparently I say boat strange. Although I don't hear me saying boat different or about. I feel like it sounds normal. <laughs> Especially when I hear other people say boat and about. I'm like, that's that's like the same. What are you talking about? You be the, the verdict for me. Uh, no, I'm like closer to a carnivore, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm trying to like uh, cut down as well right now. I'm mean, like gym face. I'm eating a lot of meat. My about is normal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thought you were saying boat. Yeah, I was saying boat, like boat, and then I said about, like both words, you know, like, like a driving a boat, and then talking to you about something. I'm Canadian, I say a boot. I feel like the, is that more like Newfoundland? I, I definitely have heard some people say a boot. Definitely not where I live, but I've heard that. How about suburbs? Suburbs. That's an interesting one. I've never heard that pronounced different. Or asked, I guess. You hear a boat twice. <laughs> That's funny. A boot, a blood. <laughs> That's funny. Definitely a Canadian about. Okay, what does America say more? Like about? Like they, they accentuate the owl or a bot? A bot. <laughs> a boot? A butte. <laughs> a beauty. She's a beauty. Hey, hey, a chest. So we've invaded Juso. Jusu? I hear some things happening below me. Can I s <gasps> Wait! They're climbing really slowly. Surprise, wizard! <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got a freaking dagger and everything. <laughs> he could have easily gone for that crit. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, I need to also stop the guy when he gets up here. Oh, no! It's too late. My raptor- Oh, God, it's Mugo. I'm dead. I live. Okay, we're good. I don't know where this leads, but I'm going into it. Wasn't expecting a moon veil. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? The <laughs> moon veil! They're everywhere! <laughs> They're multiplying! Off I go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, Moon Veiler. Relax, relax. Whole slow your roll, Moon Veiler. Slow your roll, buddy. <laughs> you die today, Moon Veiler. You 
will die. You will not escape me. I will punish you. Okay, so you've escaped for now. For now! Get back here! You surprised the hell out of me, now you run! Come here! Kavath! Coward! <laughs> Ka coward <laughs> Oh, you thought! You know nothing, wizard! <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking that ladder. <laughs> okay. Yo, Doctor, thank you so much. I appreciate that, man. Oh, what the? What is that? What is happening down there, by the way? That's been a never ending sight of blue. What is going on? I'm so confused. Oh, they're down there. Okay. Wait, are they all the way down there? Or are they like half down there? Oh, wait. I'm confused. They're this way, I think. That's what you get, Moonvale. I'm sad I didn't get to see your demise, but that is what you deserve. <laughs> oh, the Moonvale is alive. No, you coward. <laughs> that was a fun invasion, though, honestly. I'm not, I'm not even upset. That was a good one. Yeah, what is what was that by the way? I've never experienced that. It was like endless waves of magic damage. Oh, someone's pronounced it Spurbs? <laughs> no no. I definitely I definitely say suburbs. What are the chances that I'm dodging a moon veil to run into another moon veil? I you know, I guess like thirty percent. This is Elden Ring. It's not as low as I think. <laughs> Uh, that was definitely a lot of ma magic beams, though, yeah. They always just say out and a boat. <laughs> a boat. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, I guess I run into it. You know, you run into it a lot more in invasions than you do in the duels. I guess people find it, like, less interesting to use. That's fair. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, 100% Mori. A lot of people have asked that because I really do enjoy the DS3 invasion streams as well. If we do get uh, the DS3 PC servers back, I'll be doing both. 100%. There's going to be like DLC for Elden Ring and stuff, of course, and that's when like I'll focus it. But like right now, if, if DS3 was here, I'd be doing like a, an even amount of both. Caitlin. Lucina! Oh, we had a fight with Lucina earlier. Okay, early. Where? Over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's different, you know? And also, the new player base of Elden Ring might really enjoy, like, a Dark Souls 3 if they gave it a try, too. So, it'd be cool for, like, uh, streams and PvP streams. Lucina with a spear. Okay. What do I have? I have Sword Dance on this. Honestly, good call. <laughs> that was a good call. Uh, what do I have on this? I don't use Great Axes too often. Oh, is that like storm collar? What is, what does that do exactly? It, it, it tanks. You have to trade into it. I've used it a few times, although it doesn't always true. You have an axe too, Lucina. Yes, my spirit animal, Lucina. I got a roll catch on that. Wow, I'm surprised. Whoa, that was sneaky. Battle of the axes. What's the reverse backstep like on this? Okay, it's it's decent. It's not the worst. What about the crouch attack? that combo on this it does sometimes but it didn't there what about the crouch attack okay yeah, i don't use it too often so oh, i delayed that one a little bit thinking that it might work out oh very fun fight lucina honestly you don't have a great axe fight like ever that was cool and the crouch attack actually pretty good yeah the, the crouch attack's pretty not bad not bad the master of distraction, the master of baits. Thank you, Drift, for 27 months. That's like two, two, almost two and a half years, man. That's crazy. It's been a long time. <laughs> nice to roll. Yeah, I'm surprised it worked, honestly. Hey, it worked out pretty well. I love power dancing that. Yeah, you know what? That could be good. I haven't really used a ton of great axes in invasions, other than the showcases, because, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, at this point, yeah. You know, after experiencing Elden Ring, honestly, the Dark Souls 3 glitches, they don't, they don't bother me. <laughs> uh, it's like, what's scarier, bow glitch arrows? Or just a standard moon veil? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> They're pretty even. <laughs> uh, Warui Inazuma. Warui Inazuma. Okay. Uh, wait, what is your opinion on the Yurnia being a PvP uh, hotspot? Uh, I mean, oh, you mean like the dueling area? Yeah. It is. Lake North would be better. It's a cool ring, but my pet peeve, and this is just strictly from like content creation, I hate when it rains. <laughs> I'll like go to record the intro for you guys, and I'm like, yo, what's up, guys? And then it just in my ears starts pouring, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> also, it is kind of rough on people that want to use a fire build. Cause that area naturally will be bad for using a fire build, right? So, yeah, just overall, it could be better, but uh, so many people are already there that like I don't even know if you could change it now. Don't fall again, right? Thank you. Yo, faded. Hey, Chase, been watching your YouTube videos all the time, but don't have time to catch the streams. Thank you, man. Honestly, I just I haven't streamed in the past two months because I was kind of away on like a vacation, then like a staycation here with a girlfriend visiting me visiting family so yeah and you haven't really missed any <laughs> thank you so much though you guys have been so kind actually whoa <laughs> get arrowed um what can i do let's meme a bit with the cannon whoa. oh wow what a what a time to turn oh of course dude that doesn't even honestly that never bothered me too much i did my more did it for the player base that hated it you know just to not create a disparity between the two it's whatever if anything it made invading easier for me because i could heal quick in a group right like i just didn't do it but yeah it definitely would have made invasions easier <laughs> so it's not like uh okay wait does he not have a heal though yeah heal up okay what are you what have i not used i have not done dual rapiers at all i barely have done this in the past what is this? Dual katanas. These are frostbite as well. I have beast roar. That'll throw people off. It does. What's on my other one? Gwyn plane phalanx. Okay. Bad time to do that. Okay, do it again. I dare you. A whole 51 damage. Fear it. Fear my damage. Okay, that actually did decent. It didn't frostbite him, though. Oh. That's it. <laughs> We're just gonna trade. <laughs> okay. Oh, he has Bloodhound stuff on that? Why have you not used it yet? What the heck? That's so funny. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need something with more range if he has the Bloodhound step. That means that I need to get him maybe half health. Scare, oh well, um, scare him a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Run, little samurai, run. See it. Knights beat Samurai. I got a Lance here, you know. <laughs> Aha. He thought that was an opening for you, but it was my opening. <laughs> Very fun fight, man. Very fun. Like, you know, there was always this giant hate for it. And I admit, like, it's very powerful. The only time, like, I wouldn't blame someone for using Bloodhound Step is if they're getting 3v1 by, like, a rushdown gank. Then use all the tools that you have. You know what I mean? Then then survive. Because Elden Ring damage, three people running at you. The roll actually slows you down from the run. So three man teams chasing you down. I could understand why people keep it on their, their invader thing. I did it first as well. I mean, I still do if I'm ever in super, the, like, sweaty ganks. I would use it against, I guess. But for the most part, yeah, not really, I guess. Yeah, exactly. When you're 3v1ing, use whatever. I, I won't use it 1v1 because whatever. Oh, thank you. Because you don't even get it pressured that hard, you know what I mean? Compared to three people with moon veils and stuff. <laughs> if you're using Cestus. Yeah, like if you're using a terrible weapon too, I mean, yeah. Like, you can create the, the balance in your mind of what's pretty OP, I guess. Uh, or cross naughty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've used it in the past too. The game came out. Dual spears were very interesting because you could bleed build up quick. So everyone's done it. Yo, booty snatcher. Thank you so much. Everyone thought it was super cool. I mean, it is, su it is super cool. It is a cool Ash of War. It's just very strong. That's all. You know. 
There's no point for a lance with me. <laughs> the lance is... Well, you, how is the scaling on it on other builds? I don't know. I haven't really elementally infused the lance, I guess. I don't really know. Booty, thank you so much, man. I do. I do miss DS3. I'll talk about that. I think, I think Elden Ring did some things right, but overall, the six-player team invasions and the combat style, I like, like, Hyper Armor and Dark Souls 3 more. And I like the true combos with the lower damage output. So, like, those core mechanics make me prefer it more. But Elden Ring is going to continue to get updates. It's going to get DLCs, you know. We'll see. Has great potential. Just at the moment, I would say I prefer DS3 as well. Hey, Josh, thank you so much, man. Just saw that as well. Dragonic comic. Hope you've been doing well. Oh, yeah, for sure, Dallas. 100%. I keep it on my hotbar as well. It's up on one of my daggers, right? Yeah. Like, if I'm getting three-man pressured by, like, constant spam magic and, like, moon veils and I need to get out to heal, then yeah. <laughs> for sure. Especially since you don't get a co-invader. Like, I get it. I just, uh, yeah, I haven't used it for the weapon showcases because it's it's pretty strong in a 1v1. You can't, they can't aggress it at all, right? So. <laughs> the music in this area is really nice. See, I didn't really PvP in Dark Souls 2, but for me, it was a little slow. I liked the the speed and pace of Dark Souls 3 PvP. Dark Souls 2 was, like, slower. The rolls, the way the character moved. That I think that's what held me back from liking that one the most. And then Dark Souls 1 is just the most dated. I don't like the instant backstabs. As someone who enjoys backstabbing, it's it's weird to get it no matter what. Oh, hello, Dragonic. Dragonic comic. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? <gasps> that was a headshot. Why'd that do no damage, though? I'm a little confused. Take that on your knife. What are they doing? Did it not? I could have sworn it damaged me, but it didn't damage me. You want me to use the cannon as well? Use the cannon. Is that we're doing it? Cannon fights? <laughs> See, the problem with this is, though, like, I've done a lot in the past, and whoever fires first gets hit, right? So, like, I don't know if he'll realize it. Like, maybe we should we should change, you know? Because, like... <laughs> like, I just happen to be timing these a lot better, that's all. <laughs> I have knives, too! Why are mine aimed so... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> you thought you had me! You do have me! <laughs> Ah, uh, I gotta reload. You took too long to punish it. Come back here. Oh no! In my butt! <laughs> Alright. Okay, I can't, I can't give him another free hit. Now I'll finish him with my knives! <laughs> Dodge these! Oh! <laughs> One of the more unique Elden Ring PvP moments. The cannon consumable build. <laughs> that was different. Yo, Timbo. Thank you so much, man. Hope the DLC ups player. Me too. Obviously. I'm with you. <laughs> that was interesting. I, you, don't, you don't get those kind of fun fights too often. That was a good one. Um... Wait, wait, what do I usually use? I guess this. Uh, yeah. Uh, Prod and Lost wanted to do some type of, like, playthrough where viewers can invade us. Um, they went to TwitchCon. Uh, Lost, I don't know when he's available, but it, it could be soon. Probably after my girlfriend's vacation here is up is when I would do those type of things. Because I'm still not going to be steady streaming, like, every, every day or every second day for two weeks. There will be random streams, though. Probably weekends as well, because the player base is higher, so I get overall more invasions. Man, that's tough. DS3 Great Bow or the the cannon? I still think I like the Great Bow more because um, the Millwood Wind was just so 
so satisfying. But the can honestly, the cannon has good knockback. That's a tough one. You cleared the, uh, you cried to the Jarvan quest. Yeah, it is sad. <laughs> uh, it's disappointing. Butt shots is new, yeah. <laughs> Did pretty good damage. There's no, you know, the cannon should get a crit too. I feel like every weapon deserves a critical attack. That is that weird of me? Imagine a cannon, you like grab the cannon, you put it on their back, you just like fire it through them. That would have been cool. Whips like entangling them. I think those would have all been good additions as well. The cannon's reload animation is pretty cool. The recovery on the Millwood bow is, I guess, faster. So overall, it's probably stronger. Try cannon butthole. The quote of the century for Souls games. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's sad that they don't, honestly. I mean, whips are a good class, but yeah. 3v1 with whips is kind of tough unless they're bleed whips, I would say, because you need burst damage. So, crit, no crits makes it kind of rough. Or, like, at least, like, guard breaks on shields and stuff. Oh, I went to the gym. <laughs> Whenever she streams in my setup here, I usually just go to the gym. Oh, I'm in the canyon in Kaelid. Okay, I haven't, I haven't been in here in a while, actually. Oh, it's a road act, damn it. <laughs> Wait, are you up top? Oh, these are the spawn points I'm talking about in Elden Ring. Some of the worst. Stealth Sniper? Uh, yeah, you know what? That could be interesting. You know what's weird about the, the, the Veil Talisman, though? Like, you have to have your back turned and be crouched. So, like, the second you start the Ash of War, you become visible, correct? Which is... Cool. Like it's it's interesting, but like you can't be sneaking as much. I do endure and raptors on whips. Yeah, yeah, I could see. Wait. Oh no. Wait. Can I invade in here? That's weird. Can you not invade in Gale Tunnel? Hmm. Strange. Huh. Okay. That's strange. Uh, and Clown Man, thank you so much, dude. Oh, do you have to actually kill the boss in there to invade? Really? Oh, no, you have to kill the boss in there to leave it with a warp, but you should be able to invade. Oh, yeah, the bloody fingers. I always forget about the I remembered it once in one of my showcases. Oh, you have to go in more. Oh, pain. <laughs> Yeah, I think when I did my uh, whip showcase, I think the beast drawer worked very well on it. Kept the, I kept the pressure on. It worked well. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of the areas are like no online gun. Yeah. <laughs> Machine gun Millwood. <laughs> Those are the days of old. Stan. <laughs> Isn't there, excuse me, some type of thing that people can do to swap their arrows? To like the cannon bolts in Elden Ring, where they use like a bow and then it's not the cannon. I've seen that. I think I fought that once. Don't remember what they did though, overall. Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> Definitely more annoying. Hell yeah. An invasion here is always fun too. Blazy. Alright, Blazy better have a pyro build. Machine gun, no invasions when? Yeah, a lot of the dungeons, like if I, oh, frame loss. Uh, if I try to invade there, they'll be right at the fog wall, because it's kind of like a sh short period of time that they're in there. Some of the tunnels are bigger, though. Hello! Blazy! Whoa, you coming right in here. That's not Blazy. Oh, he's got dragon breath. Okay, okay, well that will make this interesting. Okay, I want him to aggress me. Surprise! Oh, he had the bubble still. Oh, God. I thought I popped that with my thing. I did not pop that. Okay, that's going to be... S oh, God. Frame rate. Save me, please. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to get out of the lake. For whatever reason, when you jump and transition from the lake, you lose a lot of frame rate. I don't know why that happens, but it happens. Oh, 
Um, okay. Let's try these. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Pop your bubble. Oh. Does that not pop the bubble? Maybe that's a special kind of bubble. Hello there, blue. Okay. We'll kill the blue first then, I guess. Mm, this one has frostbite. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, I gotta watch out that the dragon breath could be right behind me as well. Ooh, those, can those hit me? No, I don't think those can hit me. <laughs> I see that dragon breath back there, though. I'm honestly surprised that he's not, like, death yet. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to stay on him, though. Oh, that popped my bubble tear. Yeah, it's like this guy is living in the death. <laughs> Did he not see that coming? Honestly, where's the dragon breath dealer? <laughs> like, what was that? <laughs> I'm very surprised. Oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, that frostbite needs to go away. Dude, he was dedicated! Like, I was trying to not get hit by everything behind me, and he was just, like, attacking the whole time, honestly. He cared not for his own life. Very fun fight. <laughs> Very interesting. He did not see that, like, blight meter going up. He was just living in this. <laughs> he even did the Ash of War, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I'm usually 125, uh, Adrian. Uh, we did 80 today to see if it's more active, because in the showcases, I wait around a little bit to find invasions, but honestly, it's uh, roughly the same at 80. I'm getting invasions, uh, but they seem about the same speed, regardless of like if I'm level 125 or 80, so may as well just have the good damage I put at 125. Uh, Isaiah, what made me decide to stream on YouTube instead of Twitch? Uh, I'm trying to remember back then because I've been doing it for so long. I started on Twitch and then I made my YouTube channel and I, I kind of stopped streaming and focused more on like video making for the channel at first. And then I did my first like stream as like this YouTube channel because my Twitch didn't have the exact same name back then. So no one would have known about it. And it did better than my Twitch stream. So I just I just focused on YouTube streaming. And also the VODs were like conveniently placed on YouTube afterwards as well. So I didn't have to upload them if people wanted to see the full stream VOD. Do I ever go higher than 125? Yeah, I've gotten to 150, uh, Greg. But that was like closer to when the game released and it got it got like a little bit less invasions than 125. I don't know how active it would be now. Can't really give you input. I've only done 80 and 125, so. Do I have a step bro? No. <laughs> Or Chase the Step Bro? No, I, I don't. No one's called me Chase the Step Bro yet. <laughs> Hello there, 42 Doe. Uh, let's go with uh, the Colossal with ya. I'll eat the crab, yeah. There you go. Oh, and we'll drink the drink, yeah. Royal Knights Resolve! Fortitudo. Good trade, honestly. Good call. Oh! That was interesting. Wow, you can get a backstab off a knockdown from... Wow. Just honestly. Wow. <laughs> oh, that hit me, but how did I poise it? Huh. That was, that was an interesting backstab, I gotta say. Very cool, though. Very different. Um, this will work for me. Um, wait, is, the, what, is there a hunter? What are we doing? Oh, okay. He wants to roll in and get the range on the poke. I'm very low. Maybe we can get... I don't know what his poise is like. Good, though. Very good. I don't know what that does. It's like a bleeding pot or like a fetid pot, I guess.
That is like the, the blood pot, right? I believe. Honestly, that was such a good backstab. <laughs> Fucked me up. Very fun fight, dude. <laughs> so, I know you can get backstabs from knockbacks. Didn't think it worked on the ones that, like, pancake flipped you up, though. Very cool. I'll have to try that myself. Yeah, I don't know where the blue went. <laughs> I'm in. Aw, oh, shit. Sorry, dude. I saw the, I saw the hunter name, but... GG's, guys. That's fun. You were, you were very cool. Never knew you could do that. That was great on the the wake up from the giant hunt. Let's try the swamp. This, yeah, we're gonna get Scarlet Rotted probably, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, but wait, did I have this lightning infuse? No wonder it was doing poo poo damage. Hold up. Okay, I remember using this. Heavy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, so I remember, what did I do? I storm stomped when the game kind of first came out and someone kind of flew towards me, but on the ground. And I was able to backstab them while they lay there. So, uh, I don't know if it works for all like pancakes and like knockbacks, but apparently it worked there. So that's cool. But what about here? I never get to invade here. How do I like my coffee? Depends on where I get it from. At home, I'll put like uh, a table, or sorry, two tablespoons of cream and then a tablespoon of sugar from like Tim Hortons or like Walmart, not Walmart, McDonald's or something already like just fast food wise. I'll probably get like a two by two, like two cream, two sugar. Depends on the coffee though. Oh God, a gill. Oh wait, no, that's not. I play on PC, Sam. Yeah, the damage is kind of everywhere. The only thing, honestly, the only saving grace for Colossal Swords is the Crouch Poke. I know people hate fighting it because it comes out quick, but without it, <laughs> that class would never get used. I think the damage is a little bit lower on the poke too, which is kind of fair to balance it out, right? Oh no, no, you're still going to get all the weapon showcase videos. Yeah, yeah, just because I'm streaming now again doesn't mean uh, you won't get videos. You must mean a double-double. I do mean a double-double. I did not know if anyone would get that. <laughs> that is funny, though. Great FPA love. You know what? It's raining. Yeah, let's use the great FPA a little bit. Or what is it? Epi? Uh, oh wait, the hunter's alone. See, anytime I invade a lone host, sometimes I feel like their their teammate died because they don't have like a rune arc active, and they just, they just you know they're alone. Ah, this is kind of oh Jesus! Well, he hit both of us. This guy has far less HP. Yeah, I forgot that boss could hurt us. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. <laughs> if I'm being honest, the only thing making me... Well, there's two things making me not want a PS5 Elden Ring. I already have all my builds on PC, but I could do like pay through streams, I guess, with co-op with viewers. That could be cool. I, I can't use the PS4 controller. And man, the PS5 controller... I mean, sorry, other way around. I can't use the PS5 controller. It doesn't feel as good as the PS4. I at least get, get to still use the PS4 controller for Elden Ring on Steam. When I do it on PS5, it doesn't work. Unless I have the PS4 version, I believe, right? I don't know. And I, I just, uh, yeah. I'm a PS4 controller kind of guy. Also, then I, then I have to use a capture card. And for some reason, my audio desyncs a lot from capture cards. Viewer run. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. See, that's something I would do on PS5. 100%. I wouldn't have to like, go hard to collect all the weapons and stuff. I would do that. You hate the PS5. It's just, I don't know. I'm so used to PS4 for Souls games. Oh, I use a keyboard. No, no. I mean, uh, honestly, keyboard has some cool things for it as well. I've just always used the PS4 controller. Do I claw grip it? Sometimes. Like, if I'm running and swapping around, then I'm claw gripping. When I'm just fighting, I'm not. What is this? Hey! <laughs> I thought his name was Gerbald. <laughs> like Geralt, but he's bald. 
Okay, he is AFK. Oh, he's not AFK. Hello. <laughs> Uh, well, he's using that. What do I use? We'll mix it up a little bit. He's got a stitcher. Um, I don't know. What about... Let's try a scythe out. Let's go. Get our buffs going. Garbald. <laughs> yeah, Rivers of Blood I haven't used in quite some time. Aha! The beautiful jump! Oh, I thought he might fall for the trade. So he's got Piercing Fang on that. Oh, he's a dragon. Wait, is this some form of, like, a good cosplay that I'm just, like, not noticing here? Could be very good. See, I've never really played The Witcher. I've only watched The Witcher series. <laughs> it's, Ger it's Geralt's cousin, Garbald. <laughs> he wants to do the running guard, too. I want him to, as well, honestly. But... I've kind of gotten used to spacing it. Oh, I like it. He's not walking into my spacing too quickly. Good attempt there. Surprise! Ah, oh, he was prepared for it. Ah, oh, I tried. I tried. I tried my bestest. What? <laughs> we go, Weapon Master. El Gilgamesh style, all swords. What do we else? Do? What else do we have? You know what? Does this work decently from range anymore, or no? Oh, a claymore! I'm down for a claymore fight. Let's go. You know, I'm kind of overly swapping my swords right now, but that's because I haven't done it in like <laughs> two months. I've been like locked into the weapon that I'm using for my showcase. <laughs> I am quite enjoying it. <laughs> it's nice. It's good times out here. <laughs> Only reasonable. Yeah, true. I don't know what, we, what you would use for that sword, though, to be honest. Ah, bad trade. He's got a fire one. That's interesting. Ah, oh, he was prepared. Very preparation. Now he doesn't know that I have it as well. Shh. Shh. He does not know. Well, now he does, because I'm smart. <laughs> okay, he wants to hit me with the dragon incantation, I believe. Oh! Oh, that's like a chain cast. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy my lightning pepper to the foot. <laughs> it does great damage, sir. <laughs> I was actually going to do that next. Ah, oh, very fun fight, man. Honestly. That was a cool one. I should get hit. How much damage does it do? I don't even know what its damage output is like. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and but <laughs> The other Roman, thank you, man. Uh, what if an arena DLC doesn't allow ashes of war? I doubt it, honestly. <laughs> I severely doubt it. Uh, but they are, I believe these will be the DLC dual things. Maybe they'll have more than one thing. This could be like maybe 1v1s. They might have like, there's three of them, right? There's one here. I'm blanking on the third one. Is it near Landell? Yeah. Hey, they could be like team fights. You don't know. I'm hoping. Thank you so much though, Roman. I wish there was crossplay too. I think that would be great for Souls games. I doubt it would happen, but Hope one of them in horse is horseback jousting. You know what? If they limit it to just that, yeah, I, I'm okay with that. When I first heard about horseback riding on the game, I was just picturing like PvPing, and then you know when they get low, they're like, "Well, I'm off horse, just galloping away." <laughs> that wouldn't have been great. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be down for uh, some jousting. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm with you, MK. I think that'd be awesome. They had like a three v three mode, kind of like DS3 had. It was great. Uh, I'm honestly kind of testing them all out again, Myth, so I'm doing 80 today. I'll like, I'm taking like note of how long it's taking me here to get invasions. I'm going to do 125 next time, and then we'll try 150, and then whatever one out of those three days is the most active is probably what I'll do the most. I kind of feel like it might actually be 125. I don't know, though. 
I only do like three invasions a day when I did those recordings, right? So I kind of, it's not the same as streaming it and feeling like how they all, all the areas react. <laughs> so we're in the water. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm coming down. Sorry. I just wanted to do that. That was fun. It's not a moon veil. It's Alice looked eye. Oh, it's a bloodhound stuff. Okay. See, we have that. We even. <laughs> Should we have a bloodhound off? <laughs> no, I probably won't do that, to be honest. And rivers of blood! Oh! <laughs> it's a wizard in rivers of blood. Nice. So, it's a. It's, I'm confused, though. It's uh, Where's the blue spawning at right now? That, that puts the fear in me. Bubble away. I guess that doesn't break. Oh, it does break the bubble. My my fan dagger has just missed a few times. I see. Do it again. Wait. Okay. Do the rivers of blood. Ah, no. Nah, I needed to space it. <laughs> Do the rivers of blood. Do it. What is, oh, there, there's the blue. Okay. Well, hello there. What is that name? I can't even read. We're going to go this way. We're going to use the ant, yes, to separate the rivers of blood guys so we can try to finish him off. That would be awesome. That would be optimal. Ah, uh, he's going for a surprise attack, but we missed. What's he attacking? I'm trying to backstab that. No. Would have been too slow. Wouldn't have worked out for us. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> Get him, teammate. Wizard jumping in. I think we might. <laughs> that thing's getting wrecked. I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you there, Mr. Enemy. That is a bee chase. That was an ant. <laughs> What do you mean? That was no B. Yeah. Yum. At least he's been kind of using his FP. Oh wow, he didn't actually aggress right then. I was expecting him to. That was a dog. Wait, well there was... No, 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 you're not gonna get me. Oh wow. Yeah, I forget the iframes kind of last extra long on Bloodhound stuff. Towards the end of it, you know, uh, you can't. It's hard to roll catch. So we can dodge him pretty easily. He mostly attacks right after he bloodhound steps. Honestly, we can maybe go for a parry on him. He didn't hear that. He didn't hear that at all. Gotta watch my back. Bloodhound step at me. Do it. Ah, uh, he's not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to aggress in certain situations with like certain setups. Oh, I was in my menu right then. Didn't mean to be, but... No. Not aggressing right there. Okay, we'll go back to doing high damage, I think. I just need to one-shot the blue, and then we can deal with the rest. Um, what would be the better setup here? Giant hunt or okay. Wizard incoming. I think giant hunt might catch that blue a little bit more off guard than most things. Oh, the wizard has stars of ruin too. Okay. No, that arrow actually ruined my roll catch timing. Unfortunately. Yeah, it is more consistent. You're not wrong. Also, that lock on though. <laughs> oh, he's got sleep arrows as well. Okay. You're right though. I think I will go for that. I think it's better. I can just get the one hit off, do the damage. Oh! 
Wow, what a sneak. I didn't see him. I have to be honest. The minds of the blues sometimes, they elude me. There we go. Look at that blue! He's the master of sneak! <laughs> he did it again! <laughs> <laughs> he went right around, honestly. He does panic roll though, so hey. There, I actually didn't see him. Oh, I would have finished him. <laughs> um, I don't know what his health is like. Would Flaming Strike finish him? Okay, well that was like a kind of like a pseudo combo with the NPC, so. Michael, I am not have to donate at all. I mean, build suggestions are always welcome. Like additions to the build. All that. I always listen to that. Okay, now we're going to have to fight Bloodhound Step. Now, what do I want to do against that? Probably the poke, honestly. Just burst damage if I can hit it. If not, maybe a Halberd with Frostbite and the Clean Rot, maybe. That could be useful. Because he doesn't have poise. So that's not bad. Doesn't have much poise anyway. It's kind of like a stat proc build. I mean, okay, decent fro or sleep build up. At least the thing is, when you're when you're fighting uh, Bloodhound Step one v one, at least like they can't like use it like Quick Step to easily get like a roll catch, you know. So that's something. There we go. Very fun fight. Flaming Strike. Yeah, Flaming Strike has the AoE. You could do that. If they Bloodhound toward you a lot, I think that could be useful. <laughs> the Howl Stock. Yeah, that worked in that situation, actually. We had the uh, Hyper Armor on it. Poised through the poke, and then we traded with the, with the Clean Rot. Um, <laughs> do we want to suffer in the, in the Scarlet Rod area? We could try. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, Michael. Hey, what's up, Smash Pro? Yeah, away from you, you can't really roll catch it. It's if they aggress you. At least some of the, like the AOE ones can work. Why would anyone invade here? Just for a different map. Excuse me. Not the same scenery always, you know? I try to get some of these areas for the showcases too. They don't really work that well at 125. Maybe here will work. Oops. Patience worked always, always. That was like the first thing I learned. Like the big difference between the other Souls games invading versus this one is the beginning of the fights of Elden Ring often are a lot of projectiles thrown at you. So you need to like try your best not to get chipped by them. Three man teams like to use like range stuff, try to whittle you down, use their FP, and then you wait that out a little bit, and then you're kind of good to go from there. They're lower on it, so they spam it a little bit less. Yeah, I saw that, Adrian. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You have 500 hours played, never went there. Fair. Uh, that's kind of, is that, wait, that area is not locked behind a quest, but the later area is. The Lake of Rot is interesting, though. They, they always have poison swamps, Scarlet Rot swamps in, in Souls games. <laughs> Straight up anime battle. Yeah, that was a fun one, actually. Yeah, it's been a little bit slower, Burgundy. Uh, if you're, like, depending on your level, if you're 125, I get Castle Soul a lot, honestly. Now, you get Fogwall there quite, like, semi, every, like, third fourth invasion but you get constant invasions there at 125 at least like every couple minutes i mean constant like that uh prayer room at hallig tree does well for me and the Ferrum azula area here at 125 does pretty well um in the underground areas it works but it's random it can be like busy or not if you're 80 like i am where have i gotten the most invasions today i've kind of invaded everywhere like once and then i move because i don't get one at 80, but we've been getting some different areas. So that's kind of cool. 
Yeah, level 40 and below I hear is so active. It, like Storm Castle and stuff? Yeah. I've heard that's that's definitely active. Ooh. I organize my inventory by acquisition, so I can just put them in whatever order I want. I pull them out in the order that I want from the Grace Point. Altus Highway. I did get some good ones there. You're right. I got some Altus Highway invasions. This is our first one by this area. I didn't think it spawned me far away. Oh, hey! Oh, shit. I was already recording. Damn it. Okay, well, hold up a minute, boys. Wait a second. I gotta, I gotta hit my record button, okay? <laughs> gotta, gotta be nice. Hello there, Ivies? Ivies? I mean, you guys can 2v1. I'm down. Uh, I haven't used the Claymore a lot, honestly. That's because I've been such a fan of this setup against two players because it's so fun. It's got a dual katana. Is one a moon veil? It's probably a moon veil. There's a wall, but where am I going? <laughs> the camera movement. A bow! Oh, that's different. Four hundred and eighty-three HP. This man does not get touched by bosses. He solos the whole game. Has never been touched by a boss because how <laughs> how would you be playing? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised. Like so surprised sometimes. <laughs> what him too? These guys don't get hit. Like they like I'm honestly like. Like, it's weird that they don't level HP, but at the same time, I'm kind of proud that, like, people get certain areas of the game on, like, 400 HP. Like, it's mildly impressive. <laughs> so I've been hit by bosses, you know. Katana in my butt. Don't eat HP if you dodge everything. Exactly, exactly. That's the mindset. What's my Ash of War on this? Flaming Strike. I'd like it. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> Crazy, but I respect it. Wait, what? My lance? No, it's upgraded. <laughs> Do I have any unupgraded weapons? No. <laughs> true, true. There are some ashes of war you can definitely just chill in the back of the group with and just. Yeah, I see that. I don't even know what base HP is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't run it. Ah, uh, no. I actually died to Melania for like two, three hours fighting her with a katana. And then I first tried her with a halberd. So, yeah, if you get stuck on Melania, use something that does good poise damage. Honestly, like I, I just R1'd her to death once I had the, the halberd in the playthrough. You can go watch it. It's hilarious. I'm like spacing, learning her moveset perfectly with the katana. And then I just I, I equip a halberd and I'm like... And that's that's how I uh <laughs> I was like wow crazy it was so different wait I, I invaded here earlier too we won't get any in Castle Soul at this level but maybe try seeing Heroes Grave <laughs> yeah it's weird there's certain weapons that just make it a lot easier a month on Melania at level one yeah <laughs> that sounds like pain it's just the waterfall dance that does so much damage. I, you know, I was, oh yeah, I didn't clear this on this character. Curve greatswords work well. Yeah, see, I haven't really tried curve greatswords honestly. What been I have the most fun with? Hmm, that's a that's a tough one. I kind of like the unique. Th I like the stitch is cool because you get the jumping light attack combo. That's like what I like about it. I guess it's like unique. Um. I like dual halberds for the running L1 is really cool and the jump attack as well. I feel like if there's a weapon that has like a unique attack that I enjoy, I, I like it more. I don't think I have an overall favorite weapon for the most like fun play style though. They're all good for different like situations. Yeah, Horfrost is probably still good in PvE, right? I mean, it still works in PvP. You just uh, chip them a little bit less and it's a little slower, but. Yeah, yeah. Once you learn it, I'm just saying like from a from a playthrough standpoint, like for people that don't know about the bosses at all, that would be that is the toughest part. 
You got with the golden parry. <laughs> oh man, I forgot I can't warp out of here. We'll, we'll go up the elevator. Oh really, Dallas? Hmm, I've tried there in the past. I didn't get many. For me, I get, I don't know why it's so active at 125 there. I don't remember what level I was when I got to Castle Soul. I'd have to look at my playthrough. Well, I planned on parrying more <laughs> back when I made this build setup, but uh, yeah, haven't been many parryable weapons today. Been a lot of Ashes of War, as is Elden Ring, as is tradition. Uh, well, it's not that the rapier scales well with strength, it's that it's cold infused, so it gets, it gets a C scaling in strength. It's not like the best, but it does work. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> cool. This one is more of a dex one, I just had it for mix-ups. Have the S-Dock and the uh, clean rot. Yeah, that's what I do with the alternating between the invasion fingers, but I, mean, I don't know if it's proven to work, but it, it helps me. Hello, Lich. Hello. <gasps> you have a Zvi? Um, I don't know. You know. Wait, what's this? What's this? Pebble, this. Hey, I'm trying to find a fun weapon to fight you with. You know what? The lance is kind of similar. It does less damage, but you know, we get the, we get the poke. It's kind of even. You can use the crouch poke. The Lich King. Will he have uh, magic, though? That's a question. Oh, yeah, honestly, like, the mix-ups with the crouch and the R1, as long as you're doing both, it's kind of nice. You do well with it. Yo, Akane, thank you so much. Uh, hyena relation bite regularly. Apple is a... I need to read that after. That hurt my brain. <laughs> that really did. Oh, no roll catch there. Try to be aggressive again. Apple is wilted, mommy, dog, dog, peak, up, wait, consent, or dove, kitten, energetic, quail, stew. 438, not too bad for the case. So that was the running R2 and all parts hit. I actually want to pay attention to what the running R1 can do. I thought he was going to attack. 282, okay, so it's pretty... It's a pretty big damage jump, I suppose. Very fun fight, Lich. <laughs> Hyena relation bite regularly. Apple is wilted money. <laughs> <laughs> Peacock wakeful. <laughs> I have no idea. But thank you, Akane. But now my brain hurts. <laughs> it speaks in tongues. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. <laughs> Favorite kind of apple? Mm, red delicious, I think. Like the dark red ones. Yo, Ryo, thank you so much for the membership, man. Welcome back. Hope you've been good. It's my time away. I miss Covenants too. Covenants would be such an addition, honestly. I mean, we already have the, the blue the blue Covenant, technically, but, you know, not really. But, yeah, they should have that. I feel like more people would PvP. They really would. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, the VODs will be here. Blit knock. All the stream VODs are always up. Of any other apples? Listen, listen. Don't call me out like that. <laughs> but, but no, honestly, they are my favorite. Even if I didn't know their name. They're like, they're more firm. They're like dark red apple. Those are my favorite. Not a huge fan of green apples. And the like lighter red ones and like the... I forget the, the name of the other red one that I like, but it's it's softer. Not my favorite either. What about over here? Jonathan, thank you so much, man. My favorite level? I mean, honestly, I don't have one because I only really have invaded like 80, 150, What's 125. It's really whatever one I get the most fights in. Um, uh, well, in terms of roll catching, if you're using a slow weapon, you always have to just learn the timing for it for if they panic roll, because you can't react roll catch, right? So if I'm using this, let's say, and I R1, I have to instantly R1 the second the animation is starting to finish if I'm going to get a roll catch. Uh, because if I try to manually do it when I see them roll, it's going to be too slow. So slower weapons, you have to preemptively attack to catch their roll. Faster weapons, like straight swords and stuff and daggers, you can uh, just attack during the start of the roll. Unsubbed for Apple Blasphemy. 
but yeah, it just comes down to learning the stun, Jonathan. Uh, it takes a while though to get used to like, I guard between my swings to the end faster it seems. Like it helps my timing. Like that's a roll catch on a curve greatsword, but too sweet. For the green ones? Maybe. I don't know, they're good. Like I can eat any apple, but the red firm ones are my favorite. Nice and firm. <laughs> I love how passionate we are about apples. It's okay. Granny Smith, thank you. That's what I was thinking of for the other apple. I couldn't think of the name. Green Apple Gang. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of you out there. Nice, man. I'm happy. Honestly, yeah, playing through like the Souls games in general, if you've tried Elden Ring and enjoyed it, definitely go back. At least try Dark Souls 3 as well. I feel like you'll like it. It feels just as up-to-date in terms of like movement mechanics. In fact, I find the movement smoother on Dark Souls 3, although the jumping is definitely something you uh, miss, sort of, like at first. That's like one of the big changes for sure. The chat will never be the same forever, tarnished by the apple. What happened? Didn't it say invading? What happened? Oh, it failed. Um, what about up here? Wait, that's kind of like right near the boss, but we'll see. Let's see. Mount Gelmir. Yeah, I mean, at least the weapons still have uh, weapon arts, but yeah, you can't interchange them. So that is, if you have played Elden Ring as your first Souls game, that's going to be different for you. <laughs> Yo, Ryo, thank you so much, dude. Honestly, you guys are so kind. I was away for two months, but at least, you know, the, the showcases were fun to record ahead of time. They were cool. I did miss the invasions, though, like constant invasions. Waiting for DS3. Yeah, they'll come back. Uh, I heard they did, did a Steam update uh, on the server, so they're doing something with it. Yeah, I, I mean, weapon arts are like Ashes of War, just they're locked into the weapon, right? Basically the same. I, you, okay, I have to I have to address this because it's so funny. I get so many comments saying that. I, rem, I remind them of Acculite. Uh, that's another game streamer, correct? I've heard that name before. I just don't know what game he plays. But I get that comment all the time. There was someone convinced I was him just on a separate YouTube account. And I was like, damn, I must have a similar voice. That's so weird. But yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate He plays COD Warzone. Ah, yes. I should have read the rest of the donation Burn before you. I should have continued talking. You remind me of Aculite, another <laughs> okay, so he, he streams the COD. Okay. humility and the cadence in how you talk. That's he funny. Plays COD Warzone with that same calm skill you have. Thanks for the live stream. Is he Canadian by chance? I don't know. I don't know if I have a kind of common Canadian voice, to be honest. You both are Canadian and have similar voices. Interesting. Maybe our speech patterns are similar, like the way we cut off words and stuff. That might make it sound similar. Yeah, they were fun. They were too. They were. They were good to record, actually. Yeah, I have my. <laughs> I don't even. You know, to be honest, the extra ten strength here is not netting me. Now that you talk about my flask. Um, it would probably be better to have regen and invasion. Because that 10 damage, it's... It, these weapons aren't fully upgraded, so... They're not getting the best scaling anyway. If covenants came... Yeah, yeah, if they actually had like 6 player PvP, they had open covenants, like Dark Souls 3 had, it would be great. They can, they can update and do that. Which is why I think a lot of people have hope for the future updates and the DLCs and stuff. Um... Dark Souls 3 had the, the Covenants right away, though, didn't they? Yeah. But in terms of, like, damage output and, like, stuff, yeah, DS3 still still has the edge here. I 100% have an Ontario accent. Really? I didn't know Ontario had one, but I am from Ontario, so... You heard it. You are correct. Yeah, it's pure strength. I mean, in this game, casting and magic does quite a lot of damage, so some of the pure builds are a little bit, like, weaker in some ways, but I like the variety of weapons in Ashes of War on strength builds. Dexterity, too. You get access to the katanas, where strength builds 
kind of lack that. Hello there. Oh, it's Lich. Hello, Lich. Hello. Want to switch up your weapon or do you want to do the greatsword fight? I don't think we're going to hit him with that, so let's try... What else can we do? Oh, Halberd. Okay, yeah, let's go Halberd fight. I'm down. I'm down with a Halberd fight. Mine has Frostbite. I don't know if his does. We'll see when he tries to attack me. No Frostbite. Okay. We're going to probably try to trade a running attack with him, but we didn't get it. I thought he was going to attack with me. The reverse backstep on Halberd's definitely one of their best features, I find. Oh, the frostbite kept him, like, with That was weird. It kept him with me. Almost sucked him back. <laughs> it's an interesting one. <laughs> I did Oh! <laughs> that was great! That was great spacing. I didn't expect him to have that Ash of War, to be honest. Trying to play the mind games here when all you have is like a medium speed attack kind of like he does as well we kind of have to like mix it up a little bit go for attack baits oh that was good i don't have the poise to tank that so that was a good mix up do i have the thrust no i actually don't know what rolling attack this has i think this one has the uh, better move set honestly Oop. <laughs> I don't know, wait, which one has more damage? 515 or... Oh wow, this is a lot stronger when Frostbite infused. Pretty cool. But the other one does do thrust damage, so... Oh, very fun fight, Lich. It's hard to say. Very fun fight, man. I like the use of the Halberd. Uh, but you taught me so much visually. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, honestly, it just takes, like, uh, watching someone who's experienced a little bit of the PvP, I would say. When you jump in, if this is your first Souls game, wow. There's a lot in this game compared to, like, some of the earlier Souls series. So, all the people that played the earlier ones kind of have, like, things to compound on into. Versus this. <laughs> this is such a big Souls game compared to the other ones. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm going out for a rip, are you, bud? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna deny. I have some friends who say that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like how we call healing Estus. I am not saying flask of... What is it actually called? <laughs> flask of crimson tears. I'm drinking my crimson tears. <laughs> Sounds edgy. Uh, I can tell you for Elden Ring, because my Steam chart has my hours played. Um, I have 750 hours in Elden Ring total. Uh, I don't. Well, I, I thought it was like a cosplay of the Lich King. That's what I thought he was going for. But... Yeah, like, there's a lot, of, especially since jump is added. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but like all the other Souls games, you don't jump, right? So it's one less input to worry about with your spacing and stuff, so... That's low. Yeah, well I, well, I was gone for two months, to be honest, right, since the release. But I played so much Dark Souls 3 that, like, the spacing and stuff carries over. I'm just going to forget the names of weapons still here for a little bit. Play any sports? Uh, not really playing organized sports. I like, like, free running and fitness. That's really it. Gym. Flips. Not really any organized sports, though. Uh, no idea who Lich is. I'm guessing a viewer with uh, a Lich uh, cosplay. We fought them twice today, but uh, yeah, I don't know in chat who they are. We fought Fortitudo as well. Fortitudo! He had the the great backstab attempt. Honestly, man, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, What are we doing here? Are we meeting the secret meat? Is he giving me something? Alright, I'll have a finger fight with you. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I hope you win. <laughs> okay, we're still gonna... Oops. We're still gonna eat our crab. Well, this is one way to get me to use the finger. <laughs> R1! <laughs> finger flick! 
<laughs> I landed the flick. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse to be flicked. <laughs> what if I flick your flick? Why well, we suck. <laughs> I don't know the range of the flick. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> you know what? These are pool noodles. I will dub them pool noodles. Pool noodles. I, we are using pool noodles. Ah. Ah. Oh, I didn't drink my my. Oh, so really? Okay, that's okay. It's okay. We don't we don't have the flask, but that's fine. <laughs> Very fun fight, man. All right, now I have a finger. <laughs> I'm blaming you for the fact that I now own this. I don't. I didn't even have this. I don't even know where you find this. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know where this comes from. But now I have a finger. <laughs> Thank you, man. That was honestly fun. Uh, wait, where? Where am I going here? Elden Thumb Wrestle. What is it actually called? It's called the Ringed Finger. Although it kind of it needs to go out of the inventory for now, just because it ruins my shields. But we will organize a new strength build for the next strength build stream. Give Chase the finger. He gave me one. I thank him kindly. Now I have one. I didn't have one prior. Uh, do I do gymnastics? No, but we did, uh, like all my friends and I that got interested in free running did go to gymnastic gyms in their open gym to learn some of the flips that are a little bit more sketchy to throw outside. So yeah, I've been, I've been to gymnastic gyms quite a lot. But not like in like the organized gymnastics. You get it from Gelmir Hero's Grave. Really? I feel like I've gone through that. I must have missed it. That's true. That's the finger we lost for the invasion quest. Big brain, Jose. Good thoughts. <laughs> we gotta give one. Wait a second here. Super easy to miss. Oh, it's in a hidden path. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably missed it then. I've been slowly going through like all the weapons that I don't have and finding the locations via wiki <laughs> or like lost or other youtubers that know when I'm chatting with them but yeah, I didn't have the finger I did not have the finger honestly the flick is really slow I feel like it should do more damage I landed one on him he landed one on me I think we didn't it didn't hurt that much what does it scale with I don't have it on me but it's probably pure strength right I would assume it belonged to Rykard. Hey, like, I don't know the lore yet. I have not watched any lore videos for Elden Ring yet. I need my body in my life. Hello there, foes. What's up, man? What's up? What did I do? Okay, he's got good fashion. You know, I like my fashion. Some people hate on my fashion. I like it. I could maybe change the helm one day, but I don't quite know what I would change it for. Oh, least. Skeleton. Okay, we'll let him kill the skeleton first. We can do great swords though. I'll do a great sword duel with you. I am. I am. Well, I mean, I know what I played through, but I meant like I didn't. I didn't look up any of the hidden lore yet, if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> I forget they do that. To be honest with you, <laughs> completely forgot about that. He's prepared for, oops, I wanted this in my left, oh, I wanted that in my left hand. Bleed, a bleed flamberge, okay. Bad spacing, chase, bad spacing. What about this? Do I get an R1 off that at least? I do. Okay. That's something. That's something. Follow up. Ah, oh, no way, foes. Unfortunate, man. I know you're in chat. That was actually really fun. Stupid. Was that really two minutes? That's dumb. Uh, well, I haven't actually played DS3 since Elden Ring came out, but it's like, it, it is. It is Elden Ring. It's like the same. 
The movement's the same. The only difference would be I just don't jump. So much walk up time. Oh yeah, I walked. I forgot I had to walk to get to you. Yeah, we've had five of those today. But see, I find it funny because it really only happens to solo hosts, it seems like. It seems like it happens quite a lot less to... I know, foes. That sucks, man. I think it happens more. I don't know. I don't get disconnected from co-op much. I did get dis like disconnected from like four people today, though. It is strange. I, I you think they'd work on that because that's like a core component, you know? Like two minutes co-oping or invading and you're just disconnected. That's, that's annoying, <laughs> to say the least. That's something they could definitely refine. Hello there, fun police. Hey. Hey. Wait, what do you Okay. Um, okay, we both have similar builds, I guess. Oh, Vikes. Okay, wait, I always confuse that. What is that buff called? Endure. <gasps> That's different. Okay. How long does Endure last? So he's a pure faith build. Whoa, whoa. Those go far. Okay, okay. I like it. <laughs> I didn't commit to that because I didn't know. Oh, how did he miss me? That's unfortunate, honestly. Oh, and the flame roll caught him. Wow. Okay. Very fun fight, though, man. I like the build. It's different. Fun police, it must be a blue. <laughs> hey, he fought well, though. I like the setup. I like what he was doing. How long does Endure last? It doesn't. I haven't really tested it. Like, I, I did, like, uh, Perseverance for DS3. I don't know how long it actually lasts. Having a below average uh, spec graphics card also disconnects you more? Really? Well, I have a 3090, so I'm hoping it's not that. <laughs> Otherwise, wow. Yeah, I think Endure should do that. Well, actually, you know, I prefer it didn't because the reason, the way I would use Endure is to like persevere and then run and try and backstab somebody. But I mean, backstabs are still a little bit slower in, in Elden Ring, right? So. Invest three. It could be. It could be cool for like a little like crit clip though. That's I guess something I could I could see. Yeah. What if you used it and started running? Is, is the poise gone the minute you start running? It's only there for the cast. Because if so, yeah, that's kind of. It's better to just dodge, if that's the case. Yo, the Crazer? Crazer? Thank you, man. I appreciate the membership. Something infused? Uh, yeah, honestly, I have a 2080 in my first PC that I built, like my first like manually built one that I made for streaming. I still have the PC, and uh, yeah, it runs Elden Ring like poop. I don't know if it's... I mean, it has 30 gigs of RAM in it. That's the crazy part. And I'm pretty sure it still has an i9, I'm pretty sure, the one I originally built for streaming, but... Elden Ring runs like crap on it. It's weird. It's, a, it's still a pretty powerful PC. So I can see where that frame rate talk came from now. It doesn't happen on my current one, obviously. But hello there. Do you have a teammate? What are we doing? Is that a dagger? <laughs> uh, I I don't really. I mean, the only dagger I have is a crit dagger. So, like, could I crit him? What are the chances? Does he have the poise to tank? Oh, he does have the poise to tank. <gasps> What? What? Cool. But what spell is that? I just want to know for future reference. That's very cool, though. He's got the fetid pots. He's like a full... He's bleed-infused is his name. Oh, he's stunned. Hmm. Oh, maybe he just has the poise to tank one hit. If he pays attention, he should be fine. Blessing from Pia? Haha. <laughs> Quick step, that's cool. Wow, that's that's some good damage negation, honestly. Oh, is he using that like Baldikin's blessing? Is that what he's using? Oh, and it wore off. Oh, oh, does it? Wow. I mean, that's one way to use a dagger. That's pretty cool. I have to hand that to him. That's different. 
Quick step works pretty well still in terms of like not getting roll caught. I was gonna say honestly, his absorption is pretty awesome, like on point. Whatever he's got going on with his defenses, they are high. <laughs> that build is cool. Yo, if you're in chat, share. <laughs> That's a cool idea, honestly. Does it require the Baldekin's blessing though? Or is it Iron Skin? Uh, is that what he can't roll? Maybe kind of similar to Dark Souls 3's. Uh... Uh, so I guess he'd be good for duels, maybe. That's cool though. He was super tanky though. <laughs> it's like that was some damn. Oh, that wasn't okay. As far as I know, yeah, I've never really used that. Yo, Record of Exile. Thank you so much, man. I didn't see that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been a fun day so far, honestly. Fun return. Uh, is there a reason why I start with 66 crabs? Uh, because I back up my save, and that's just how many crabs I had when I when I backed up the save. <laughs> so I just I have 66 anytime I like revert my save file. Oh yeah, okay, so the iron skin is just the same as the okay. Yeah. You can't roll with it. You get overburdened or heavyweight as we least, and then you just use the the quick step. That makes sense. Let me see the level. Sure. There you go. Is Flash Sweat in Elden Ring? I don't think so. I know there are some buffs kind of similar. I mean, they would have named it something different, right? Uh, we were trying to get more invasions, but honestly, I think 80, 125, or 150, they all get around the same at this point, so... Yeah. <laughs> at this point, I would say, do whatever you think is best for your build. We're going to maybe be our wizard next stream at 125, if you guys want to see some wizard gameplay. Hello there, foes. I'm down for whatever. Uh, you buy them from the the crab merchant, but you have to con you have to do more of his quest line, to where you see him in uh, Leyendel, and then you can buy the boiled crab. <laughs> Honestly, that was kind of funny. I want to try the running out one. I I missed the days of old. Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that. F oh shit. I didn't mean to swap my sword, to be fair. <laughs> I swapped it back right in time. <laughs> I meant to use the claymore, honestly. Ah, very fun fight, foes. That was an accidental sword swap. I like the greatsword fight, though. I don't, I don't get many two greatsworders. Oh, interesting. It hides the, the effect of it. Um, okay, we'll go. Um, I'd like some more ancestral woods, actually. They're cool. <sighs> yeah, I miss the streams as well, man. It's been, it's, it's been fun doing like the trips, but you know, you miss your everyday routine eventually. Uh, day four at fifth, four fifty. I got one sentient. Really? On my main playthrough character, right? That makes sense. I did uh, another couple of runs through the game on my like lower level characters. How do you do the back dodge while running? Oh, so you need to cue the back step. So no matter what animation you're doing, you could be attacking with any weapon, right? Like during the attack, if you hit back step. In the middle of that, it's going to happen afterwards, so all you need to do is, like, if I'm running, uh, I just let go of everything, and then I hit circle backstep, and I'll just do a backstep like that. But you can also do it from attacks, where you hit backstep and hold back on the analog after hitting backstep. It's so like you cue it, and then you're able to do the running attack. So basically, you can hit, it like, R1, circle, hold back, and then R1. That'll let you do the running attack. Same with, like, L1, circle, hold back on the analog, hit L1. Or you could just do it from neutral, but you gotta get used to the timing of hitting like circle first and then flicking your analog. If you do it at the same time, you'll roll. You do it too late, you'll do a regular back step. So you gotta get used to the timing. It is weird though. It is a weird one. Um, we could try this. I'm 
on keyboard and mouse. Here, let me see. What would I have to do? Oh, you could do it. You just have to hit space and then hold down afterwards. But you got to be pretty quick at the inputs. Otherwise, you'll do a roll like that. If, you, if you're too, like, you have to, it's weird. But you could do it. Um, let's try killing this. Oh, no worries. Yeah. I, I remember, I don't remember when I figured that out in DS3. I realized you could do it from neutral because I was always doing it from attacks. And I was like, I wonder if you could just do it. And you can. The timing is just weird. Mr. Sax, thank you so much, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Blue Jay. Burb. Thank you. Burb. Yeah, you have to kind of buffer it. Yeah, it's easier from an attack for sure. Because if you buffer it, you can just hold down the analog. From neutral is where the timing gets weird. But the buffer one, you could just you get used to after a while. Yeah, it's really weird, AJ, that you could do that Q turnaround, but you can. You just have to make sure you don't do it simultaneously. Hello, guys. Welcome to me, into your world. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was, honestly, that looked like a pretty cool interaction. Um, I think we're just going to use the Claymore, though, because if he is going to bloodstone blind, Bloodhound step at me, I can at least uh, Storm Stomp and get an R2. So... Fair trade, overall. Um, I don't like that bubble. Yeah, I don't like how you're trying to zone me here. I see it. I see what you're putting down. Haha, <laughs> I got Melania the correct way. Amazing. <laughs> we the crab. Can't stop the crab. Oh, there's something behind me that I don't want behind me. <laughs> Malekith spell. Aw, oh, I was actually going to backstab that, but he didn't do the jump attack like I wanted him to. What is that? Bloodhound? Oh god, this guy's got a wide array of damaging weapons. Let me backstab you. <laughs> I accidentally hit him. <laughs> There we go. My mission accomplished. Oh, I thought that'd be a really good wake up. Ah, not enough time to roll catch it. Um, okay, let's do this. There we go. Very fun fight, man. Very good teamwork, actually. Caught me off guard with the with the random Melania Katana attack. Uh, well, if they aggress you, Phoenix, with Bloodhound Step, you Storm Stomp while they're coming at you, and then they're going to get stunned by Storm Stomp, right? So you at least get a hit out of it with an R2, if I like a Claymore, or a few other weapons will do a damaging trade if they happen to still hit you. But it's something you can do at least when they aggress you with it. When they run away with it, not much you can do, but... Yo, Darksider, thank you so much, man. Really enjoyed your weapon showcase videos. Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to still be coming. Always. There's just going to be some, like, invasion highlights in there now that I'm streaming as well. Some people really like just full-on invasion videos, so I'm going to try to do those pretty balanced. Probably still more showcases because there's so many weapons. I think I think there's something like 200 and something weapons, so we have quite a lot of time before we're out of weapons for the showcases. Thank you. I've really enjoyed your weapon showcase videos. Wait. Keep up the okay. great content. Smiley face. Thank you so much, though, Darksider. Even the bots are back. <laughs> no, not another bot. Oh, thank you, Drift. I see. I did not see the bot attack. Yeah, it's it's weird, right? Because like, I mean, Elden Ring and all Souls games are a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So when someone quick steps at you, you can try to predict it to get it like a parry, right? But if there's like any latency, you have to do it early. So as they're like stepping at you, you'd have to like just whoop and hope. <laughs> At least that's the way I, I parry, because I don't keep a shield on me. That's, uh... Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, the armor, sure. It's uh, Melania's winged helm. And then we have the scaled armor, but it's altered without the cape. Then Veteran's Gauntlets and the Bull Goat Greaves. I feel like the texture on the armors, that's kind of matched together, so... Worked well with the Melania helm. Alternatively, there's a few other helms that I've liked. Um, is it this... Kind of just gives like adventure 
outfit. I actually, I like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I forgot how much I like that. It's kind of cute. Switch areas. The scaled helm. It's kind of weird with the build, like mask. I don't know. I don't like the scaled one as much. This one kind of matches. Oh, uh, yeah, Ali. That's where I always go at 120. You'll get like pretty consistent invasions there at 120. I tried 90 though in my own time just to see what areas would work, and I don't get much there. That's like end game, I guess. Skeleton helm? Can't think of what the skeleton helm is, to be honest. But I'm gonna wear my iconic helm because it's it's got the red hair. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, I wish. We talked about that when we got the first Millennium Helm. Uh I was like, can I alter the hair off? No, you can't. Hello there, Darth Maul. Oh, Darth Maul. Put the fear in me. Oh, damn, I thought he was gonna go the other way. <laughs> I want him to Darth Maul at me. Do it. Oh, we're gonna get some regen in there? Okay. Smart, smart. Me! Me! Okay. You! <laughs> you! That was definitely more of a you moment. Oh, I thought I dodged that. That was my own failure. Yeah, that one was cutting it real close, to be honest, but I didn't want to dodge it early. Okay, with two of them together, I don't think I'm gonna get much Raptor of the Mists going, so I'll try to just pick them off with the beauty of spacing. Oh. I'm after you. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> I love how he's just like protecting him. I'm getting hit by that, but... Oh, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Wow. That is not who I wanted to attack. Oh, no. You've aggressed the demon. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> the beauty of spacing. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Listen, I got hit. Whoa! This thing has some NOS. What the hell? Oh, no. Don't do it. No. Aw. Aw! My plan! My entire plan ruined. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> that thing! It hurts! <laughs> oh no! I'm kinda locked in here! This is bad! Oh no, I thought that- I thought I'd have to- Oh god! <laughs> Stop voice breaking me with everything you do! <laughs> <laughs> this is working out better than I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's add. Oh no. No, 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 no. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I was in this, this terrible pit of demise. Now you're going to feel it as well. Yeah, okay, I want a few guys. This was chaos. <laughs> Whoa. Scream! Hey, you're not supposed to dodge perfectly, okay? Okay, stop being wise, alright. You're not supposed to be smart. You're supposed to walk right into it. <laughs> okay, I wasted all my stamina there. Okay, what is a more stamina efficient weapon? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kind of iconic that he just, you know, left that way, but... Alright. <laughs> that kind of looked funny. I'll say, I don't even mind. <laughs> oh man, there's been so many! I swear, these never happen in the showcases. Like, it's so rare. That was, I feel like that was longer than two minutes, though. <laughs> In the middle of the Ash of War, just... Whoosh, he lightning the hell out. You know what? That's a good end to a video right there. That's hilarious. 
Oh, uh, no, because I've never done like a pure faith build yet. I've done like a balance of the two, but that's more of a faith weapon, correct? <laughs> that was funny. I like them. Um, what about these two? I guess one's frostbite, though. I guess that could be fine. Do you have the iron greatsword? E I don't think so. That is the most damaging greatsword, everyone says, right? I have the banished knight and the claymore. I'll try to farm the iron one, because I, I do have to showcase it, so. Thank you. The straight spears? You mean uh, the pikes? Honestly, they're like one of the easier weapons. Uh, you can roll catch pretty easily just by staggering the L1, so if you hit them, the panic roll, you can get a hit again. Hello there. Or you can go for the double trade. They have a great running L1 and the backstep L1. Like they're just they're great like pseudo combo weapons. You can easily just roll catch to roll catch with them. I use them when like someone has a pretty strong build because they're pretty powerful. Uh, what's the straight spears though, uh, Eddie? Do you mean like the? Am I calling it the wrong weapon here? I think I may be. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess I'm coming close to the end of my stream. <laughs> The heavy attacks are great. Yeah, they actually are really good. Let's go for like two more invasions. Um, where do I go? Let's try. I'll go back to the castle. Yeah, the dual frostbite ones are very strong. No, girlfriend rushing me, <laughs> but not really. She just she's also streaming today while I go to the gym, so she is behind me. I hear woman from I'm distance. Over him. <laughs> With a knife, no. <laughs> okay. It is hot in here. <laughs> when I have the PC running with the door shut, it gets very hot. Full faith. Yeah, I still have to make a faith build. I will do that. I need to be the... What is the, the starting class for that? The, the hero? Or what is it? The one with the... The claw starting class incantation. Blink twice if you're okay. <laughs> My character's blinking. Actually, can you see the eyes through the helm? No, not really. They're kind of hidden. It is very... No, no, like, it gets really hot in this room because there's two computers, and it's kind of like a, an office room that I stream in, so it keeps the audio pretty isolated. Yeah, I will try to use that more. I feel like it doesn't work, though. I feel like it just shows you where some people are like online, not exactly like what level they're at. Uh, she's actually going to be streaming Elden Ring as well. We'll look for the final invasion. Oh, oh, I got one. Unless it's a lone host, then I'll do one more. If it's a cool team, awesome. Yo, Immortal, thank you so much. And Akane, thank you guys. Yeah, it's been great. Good first stream back. I'll be streaming every like a uh, couple days for now. And then we'll be back to like our uh, semi-daily streams after about two and a half weeks. What is this? Thank you. Good stream. I think it's gonna fail. Ah, uh, no, she streams on Twitch actually. Her whole like channel is kind of dedicated. Well, her Twitch channel is dedicated to Elden Ring as well. But she has a YouTube. Uh, it's just the Sun Queen. The Sun Queen. What is her stream? Yeah, yeah. Third tree grazing hill. Let's go try there. Yeah, she does. Yeah. We will be judging her. <laughs> Harshly. I don't actually know what she's doing today. I think she's finishing some run. You don't know what you're doing. She also plays on PS5. Uh, do you still remember your first invasion with the Twin Blades? Yeah. Yeah, if you put seppuku on the twin blades, they're they're pretty strong. <laughs> I think they can like just one shot bleed on the jump attack. If you have both of them anyway. It's a little too strong, honestly. Okay, we'll go. Where did I get it? quite a lot of invasions today? Let's try uh Caleb. Yeah, she did the bubble burn, yeah, with the with the blowing of the bubbles with the what are those even called? The horn weapons? I'm trying to convince him to do a weapon showcase of the bubbles. I need to get it. We need a bubble showcase. <laughs> Riot. 
Yeah, I would love that, honestly. <laughs> I think every streamer who invades an Elden Ring to this day is just like, please, whoever made the Wexus mod for Dark Souls 3, please make it for Elden Ring. Just so there'd be a little less downtime. I'll, I'll be my mage build next time, though. We'll try 125, see if it's more active. Oh, I think we got one here. Nice. Yeah, it actually does more damage than I thought. The Ash of War, too, like the multi-bubble. I remember getting hit by that. And it did a, quite a crazy amount of damage. The the Dark Souls 3 thumbnails. Yeah, this is the new computer, so it didn't have my, my anime thumbnails prepared. <laughs> I've been doing quite a lot of just regular in-game shots. Oh, hello there, foes. Hey! Round 3. I'll use the dual great swords with you too. They're fun. Um, I don't know. Let's do this. Get our buff going with you. Yeah, she does invasions as well. She kind of does like a mix between them. She just hasn't because like, I don't know how active it is on PlayStation anymore either. Oh, and her internet has been kind of eh. So if she gets kicked out of the invasion, it's kind of less entertaining. At least with the PvE runs. Yeah. She doesn't have to worry about that constantly. Oh wow, our aim is terrible. <laughs> Honestly, the crouch attack, it can be decent. Oh, nice. What about the reverse? <laughs> oh, that's funny. This has like one of the better reverse attacks. Oh, that was good. That was like perfect spacing, honestly. Oh, the backstep. Unfortunate foes. I like the outfit, though. Kind of looks like that Link cosplay that I fight, but he has like the baggy hat. I don't even know what hat that, yeah, that guy is using, but yeah. Alright, I'll do one more. <laughs> Cause that that was a viewer duel. Fair. I mean she played Dark Souls 3 first, so. Well and Dark Souls 1. When you were 12. It's funny, because the first time I played a Souls game, I was 2016, so I was 20, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty late for me. Oh, one invasion here. They've been sucking. I can't find any here. I know, I saw. It's got a really good backstep attack, though. Dual Greatswords probably have like one of the better ones. Double Thrust. If not, I can try. You know what? You know where I'm going to go? Yeah, Underground, yeah. We get invasions here sometimes. Is that a Strength Int? Oh, oh yeah, I forget there's some Helms that actually boost like your Strength and Intelligence. Forget about that. Oh, Instant Invasion here, okay. I should have been down here more, damn. I like it down here. Or Lance, maybe. Oh, sorry. I have an Instagram, and I have a face reel video. And I have uh, used my face cam in the past. So you can just like look up Chase the Bro Instagram if you want to see what I look like. I just find it hard to cut up my PvP videos, because I, I focus more on the PvP itself than me. You know what I mean? So I don't use face cam for like Elden Ring, really. Oh, Grandpa Dwarf. Hey, 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 listen, listen. We can talk about this. And by talk about it, I mean I'm going... Well, hang on a second. He's behind me. Wow. I'm downtown. Oh, well, there goes the summon. <laughs> Man, that's like the third person. <laughs> okay, that hurts, actually. Hold up, hold up. What can we do? What is a fun death? At least we'll end this in a fun way. Make it, make it count, Chase. Oh, okay, I hit it, but I it didn't kill. Yeah, there was a guy earlier that had 400 HP. Kind of blew my mind. Sneaky, Mr. Madness. <laughs> you messed up. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. That was funny. <laughs> Flick him with the- I, I put the finger away. It was ruining my inventory. <laughs> it's not my fault. Welcome back. Thank you guys, honestly. I'm going to call it there just because she's also streaming. We're doing like a, you know, we're both still working on our vacation sort of. So she's going to be doing her stream next. But it was awesome. I will be back in a few days and I'm still going to be uploading the videos daily. So for you guys, I don't know what, probably Wednesday maybe? Wednesday? What are we? We're Saturday? I'm trying to like split it up so we get a few more before she actually leaves, but yeah. Yo, Drift, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I hope work hasn't been too rough for you. And have fun 
with your adventures tonight that you told me about. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you guys all for the next stream. Hey! Have fun. Goodbye. Thank you all for the support. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys.